Hello, hello, and welcome we're back. Back with some Mana Lords. We're finally, finally, hopefully, gonna kick the Baron out of his lands, retain some territories, and uh, not be fighting a losing battle the whole time. But uh, let's let's hop right in. Uh, what's the custom game? Put to here. My music's still playing. Oops. There we go. Turn the audio on. And yeah, so playing a lot of Bell right. <laughs> so I gotta recap what I've been doing. We've been holding up in our territory, letting the Baron basically do as he please, which is not the best, but we've now got an army that can sort of take on his army whenever they pop up. So, we're going to try and reclaim maybe this territory because we're a little bit closer to it in defence, and if we build something like here, we should be fine to like run our army across if we need to defend. And we can finally start pushing him out so we're not losing all the time. Um, and not having to hire mercenaries 24-7. At least that's the plan. <laughs> um, we've got pretty stable, the population's looking good, we've almost got enough recruits to cover our people. I need to expand a little bit more. Food, is it food or fuel that's struggling? Food is struggling, but as we get more people, we'll fill out the houses with more chicken coops and that sort of thing. There's a bit of issue with food on the ends, but I think it's more, we'd probably just need more markets to be honest. Maybe more ber berry gatherers? I'm not sure. But we'll figure that out as we play. But, if we jump in, we've got plenty of influence, we've got no money. I think that's because I bought all the, the retinues, didn't I? Yeah, I did. And yeah, we're going to try and build manners in all of them, see if we can cheat the system and get more armies than it'll let me. And get another set of retinues. It's going to get well expensive, but fingers crossed. And yeah, I'm going to try and make bows over here, maybe. Sell them to the main territory and then I don't know what we send back. What will we send back? Maybe berries? Berries probably not a good idea. Vegetables? No. Maybe shoes. We'll send shoes back. And yeah, they can sell the excess shoes basically. So this will have some income which will tax and that will help fill our coffers whereas the resources will come back here and get used for the armies and so on. But I think, do we try and fill out the army first, or should we just start going attacking? I think we fill out the army first. So, we're going to have to build a few more houses, and try and expand our income a little bit. We can also send tools back to the other side, um, as just a trade good to be sold from the other region. How, what foods can we bring in? We've got a little bit of wheat coming in. The fertility, apart from here, not great. So I think, maybe another berry heart, just to really amp out the berry production. We'll get some more houses, we need at least, oh we've got like seven more families turning up. What's under construction? Oh, this housing district up here. And we might get some more charcoal burners just to use up those families. Oh, didn't mean to press that. So if we pop in here, that's not a charcoal burner, that's a mine. That's a chocolate burner. It's gonna suck to live next to these guys. But that will just help with our fuel supply. We could even start shipping charcoal back to the other the other regions. Yeah, because we have tons. We're also gonna need a bunch of packing stations. Let's go for I don't know, like five. One, two, three, four, five, and we'll need some more stables. I'm just building it now so we get ahead of the time and we can sort of work out how many houses we need to fill out our population. Because we need to get to 180 spare people. Enemy unit spotted. There's just a random bandit out there who just made a camp. Uh, let's go and steal that quick. Send you, you, and you. I didn't know that's how they work. They just generate a bandit and then send them off. But if we can go and steal that money, that's better for us. So we need a little bit of treasury money in case I need to hire mercenaries. I don't know when the next attack is. I think we just finished a defense. So yeah. Got two families free. These houses are all going to have chicken coops in them. We have money now, so we're all good. Chicken coop. Uh, 
and it should pop out at some point. There's only one guy in that camp. Go and grab that loot. We'll be done. How the housing looking? More chickens, we need more money. Combat music over already. Take the money, belongs to treasury. 200 bucks, I'll take it. Cute, I like the little shrine. It's cute on the road. We're gonna have to build up some money because I need what 750 to colonize the next region. So that's gonna be the next goal, I think. Once all these houses are done. Okay, disband that, return to your jobs. 165 out of 180. Getting there. I think I needed another malt house, didn't I? I think I should put another one in. Just to increase the beer production. Can I fit one in here? I can. Let's... Mm, they're still building stuff. It's alright. Burgage ports. Waiting for money to come in for more chicken coops. Mostly just to stabilise the food production on the eggs, because we're only at 60. Burgage ports. Not getting any money coming. Is it 20 for a chicken coop? It is. And there's the housing done. Mostly. So we've got eight more family spots, which I'm hoping is enough to max out the army. We're at 165 still. Just gotta wait for the families to move in. All the hitching posts are going. Just getting a little bit of money trickle in, slowly. That was some money. Start doing the chicken coops. One, two, three. We need one more. Another family moved in, that's nice. Six, seven people. Uh, what should we start assigning them to? How much iron ore do we have for 190? Do more bloomeries. Keep the iron flowing, because the tools I think are our big money makers at the moment. Might even up this family so there's even more people doing it. How much iron do we have sitting around? The iron slabs? Nine. Maybe, we'll see. Oh, there's enough money for another coop. Got another family. I want to put the herb garden in here as well. We might see about selling herbs at some point. What else is left to build? It's just all this shit. Ah, we need planks as well. Oh well. Shipping planks in might be a good idea as well, just to keep production flowing a bit faster. Another family, very nice. Once all the construction done, I can pre-queue all the families, just to save time. There's a little bit of money. Just waiting for planks. Can I catch one of them working? Nope. Oh. Sort of log disappear, quick, quick, quick. There we go, herb garden done. We're up to eight sheep, it's growing. These require mules. How much space do we have in the mules? If I put the trading of import to 
five, so there's one for each of them. We should be good. I think I need maybe another hitching spot just to make sure. I'll put two in just so we got extra. Gotta wait for planks to come back in so we can upgrade those stables. Come on, someone bring a log. There's the logs, I think. No? Maybe this needs a de Oh, it's got a dedicated one. It's just slow. Just really fucking slow. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll ship planks in. Just to make sure it work happens. One. Two. Okay. Nope, oh, they've got a meal already. Nice. How's the army looking? 169. Almost. We've still got space for like six families, so we should be good. New family moved in, very nice. Come on, chop your logs. There it is. Upgrade. Upgrade. Right, we should be good. Um, so, how many families have we got left? We're at 86, so five extra families. Uh, well, seven extra families. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So we've got one extra family. So I need one, two, three, four, five more houses. Four more houses? We'll go for five. Let's expand it here. Wait, it just sits over the well? That's weird. That's five, there we go, perfect. Might put another little market in here. Right in the middle of the charcoal burners, that's fine. Because this one hasn't even been used yet, which is fine. So we've got lots of extra three more locations left here. How's the granary looking? Have we got... Maybe I need more people in the granary just to move food around. Well, we're nearly there anyway. Soon. Soon, soon, soon. Money's coming in. We've got all those upgrades done. Cool. We're just growing our income slowly. I'm buying up a lot of barley. Oh, we got the barley house I need to fill up as well. Hmm, malt house, sorry. Put some more houses in then. Put another five over here. That's four. Not enough logs. So like we have minus one houses. Uh, not houses, planks. Bit shorter in case I want to put houses behind. There we go. Alright, we're gonna have to wait for more families to move in. 101 families. Pretty impressive, I think. What are we queuing families up for? Oh, this one. That's eh, probably fine. We'll get them. Oh, no, they want somewhere else. Whatever. They will turn up. 173. Almost got the full complement. Seven more people. Look at our weapon supply. We're really good on weapons. Prep for the next fight. Baron's got ain't got shit on us. Need them to build the houses. Oh. Winter's approaching, that's fine. What's that one? Oh, there's no family in there, okay.
Temple Mercenaries are there at the moment? Just the one company left. I think the Baron must have them on retainer. The other mercenary companies, that's why they're not spawning in. Because I know there's like the Crazy Geese and a few other families. Not families, um, mercenaries, but they just don't appear anymore. What's M5? I think we'll wait for the next invasion, fight them off, and then use the remaining army after they restock to go and take over the next territory. And I'll start saving money up for the next territory. Nice having money. Very nice having money. How's this one looking? Still needs two families. What did I assign them to? Oh, the charcoal. Right. So this one should have gone to the berries, yeah. Okay, two more families and then I'll stop building again. We got space still? We do. Just enough. Might take these out just to start the building to speed it up a touch. Happiness is still growing, which is always nice. What's my taxation at? 5%. It's fine, I'd rather they keep money in here. Alright, just having 75% over on the happiness is great. Increase those families coming in. Let's just pop my tea out real quick. Tea, my tea bag. Yeah. Village is looking cute. I like it. Big fields in the back, even though they're doing reduced production because of the policies. We've got a decent setup iron. Shame we can't do the plate mail and stuff, but that's fine because we're importing it. Maybe if I s eventually get up to here, we set up the same, but it's a full military industri industrial complex. It just makes plate mail and stuff to bring the price down on the market. More families, very nice. I need to finish all these houses, so I can put more chicken coops just to increase the amount of eggs in the system. And I think we need to... what's the uh, fertility look over here? It's quite a good wheat area. Although if I'm doing rich animals it's probably not a good idea. This is the wheat field region. Oh shit. Just thinking of like importing bread into the main city just to help with the food supply. And I want to put some more families on the granary when we have time. They're all built. Okay, let's max out the berry farm. Start building more chicken coops. Since we have money, which is always nice. And how's our fabrics doing? We've got hide spur, we've got leather spur. Where's the tannery? I think it was. Is this it? No, I can't remember where the tannery is. This one. Maybe I'll put another family in there. Because we've got hide spur, we may as well keep using it. Got plenty of iron slabs now. Planks were short on. Yeah, I'll probably import planks as well just to really amp up the industry here. How's our weapon surpluses looking? Looking good. We up the mail to 10 and the warboys to 10. Same with the helmets. Oh, I'm not doing shields. Uh, establish trade route. Export over 50. Another source of income. Shall I buy in plate mail? Why not? Establish trade route. Import to 10. I don't know if people can wear them. Like, these guys don't use plate mail, do they? No, they use mail. So I think it's just for the retinue. 
But whatever, we can have them sitting around in the base. It's not like we need them particularly. More chicken coops. Out of money. Got two families free. What are we missing? Tanners. Go. Then after this... All of these guys, plus the malt house. And we're golden. Have we maxed out the army yet? We have, and we got spare people. Perfect. So we're just waiting for them to attack, and then we did on the counter-attack. Perfect. 300 people. Quite a lot of level 4 families. No, level 3 families. I guess because they're double stacked in these houses. We got money again? Nope. Okay, that's... they've already done. We got... 93, so there's seven, eight more families moving in. We got no more construction going, we're just waiting for money for chicken coops. Let's do it. Start assigning people to these. Even though they're not doing anything just yet. Oh, I do need two mules per thing. Okay, let's up that to 10. I didn't realize these had stable space in the, themselves. Okay, that's all of these guys assigned. Then the malt house. And then the granary. I want to max out in that order. How long do we wait? Or do we just start attacking? I don't want them to like trigger as soon as I do it. That's the problem. I want to change the trade route on this for the tools. So there's a surplus of 25. Yeah. That'll just mean we're sitting around on some tools if we need it. Oh, there's some money for a second there. Chickens are ready. Chickens. More chickens. There we go. All upgraded. Food production should be getting better and better, hopefully. That's fine. We'll get families pop in and they'll build their own houses. Okay, Baron. Come fight me. I'm gonna crush your army. And we got money to buy high mercenaries. It's all good. And then we're just going to be farming up influence to try and claim more territories, I think. But yeah, let's take this territory first. We'll set up some meat production, ship the meat in, set up wood production, ship the wood in. Yeah, we'll be good. Or oh, maybe ship bows, not wood. Maybe ship both. We could put a massive wood industry in here, actually. Hmm. Tempting. Does that road connect? It does now. And if we're gonna have a village like here, just start the road going off. I can maintain the trading population in this city rather than that city. It means less people need to stay here. Family's moving in. Come on, Baron, fight me. Oh, these guys, they're not getting enough food. Are they too far away from stalls? Oh, they started putting stalls up over here. Cool. have chicken coops, they should be feeding themselves, shouldn't they? They have eggs. Don't understand. Do they have a well done? Oh no, they do. Cool. Oh, 
Oh, we train those berries quick, don't we? With four or three gathering places. Yeah, food struggles down this end. Meat is actually covering all the houses, which is kind of impressive. Even though we don't actually have that much meat coming in. Oh, look at the money coming in, though. Bringing shingles. We don't need uh, blocks yet. Blocks isn't really a thing in this game yet. Maybe we could build castles or something. Shipping in barley, that's fine. How's alcohol looking? Not great. What about the tavern? Eh, it's sitting on a reasonable supply. With two ale houses, or malt houses, we should be getting quicker. Hmm. God, they're wealthy. Mail armors, shields, helmets, well. How's the population looking? Need one more family there. Two more there, so three spaces. Oh shit, we're full because we. No, bugger, okay. Um, pop these families out real quick. Because the chicken coops have been constructed, there's no one to actually finish the houses. I should finish them and then that'll give space for more families to move in. One, two, three. We got three fam. I didn't put enough housing in. Whoopsies. Do I need more vegetables? What do I need? Bear yeah, okay, more eggs, fine. Build this up real quick, so we've got enough to cover all the housing. Come on, builders. I guess more chicken coops again. Oh, they're going carrots, that's cute. I didn't realise they put different crops in, that's very cute. Okay, one. These need one more log and then we're done here. God, look at our money in the region. Wow. That feels nice. Okay, chicken coop. After struggling with money the whole game, <laughs> it's kind of nice to have a surplus for once. And to be fair, the more money in here, the more money we get into our personal treasury. Come on, build chicken coop. Then we can reassign these families. still assigned. Perfect. Right. Just waiting for one more family to move in and we got three spare. Which is fine if we need to build anything else. Berries are going well. Surplus berries popping up. Don't need more stores. We might need another warehouse. Or large storehouse in this case. It's fine. Baron hasn't attacked. I don't know whether we just go on the offensive. I think we go on the offensive. I'm going to save the game just to make sure he doesn't spring another one on me now. And we're just going to go and claim with influence, yes. There we go. Where's the battle? Here. Rally the armies, let's go. Ring the bells of war. Let's hire the mercenaries as well. Oh, there's no mercenaries available. Hmm. Okay. God, 
look at them rally. It's a lot of men. <laughs> Where those are? Okay, those are their army. Actually, I want to fight on their territory so we don't have to clean up the bodies. We'll start us winning. Okay, archers at the back. Want the shields. With the retinue in the center. Can't even give them a shield wall orders. Are they coming? I might pull the retinue out to the side to deal with the brigands. And we will put the soldiers like this. I want them all on stand ground. These guys can push forward. You start firing, please. Take out those archers, preferably. An arrow alert, just to deal with the archers for a sec. Send these guys after them. We outnumber them, so we should be fine. Okay, run. Push forward. Here they come. They're fighting the brigands. Right, you two push in. I say push in back there. You push in here. Hey, Verista, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Right, the rain retinue is getting mucked in over there. These guys, can I get them to push through? Tired of that's no fun. Oh, they're swinging back round. Come on, muck in, muck in. I need to lock these guys down before they hit the archers. There we go, perfect. Okay, you can stand like here, start running. We are destroying their brigands, which is perfect. We're taking the fight to the Baron finally, after so long. Switch to firewall, you just broke their main retinue. Charge in. There goes their brigands, we lost two retinues, that sucks. Right, go and hit their archers. It's a hundred bucks I've just lost there, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. And this is the battle for the region next to us. <laughs> Stand tight and fight, yep. They gave their lives. I need to put you back in the game again. Come on, everyone. The archers are running, but that's fine. New message. No, I'm not going to take your money. Enemy unit has been spotted. Oh, they brought reinforcements. Okay. That's fine. We've broken their army. Perfect. Let's regroup. I'm going to send some spearmen to help over here. These guys can get ready for this group if they're coming. That's the other mercenary group. You let me die. I lost everybody. Everybody died. The whole retinue was killed to a man. All 12 of them got killed in a battle, like three, turn, three battles back. We did win the battle, but uh, you had to sacrifice your lives unfortunately. Can, uh, can you catch these archers, please? That's this unit we're chasing. It's just archers, the other team, so... Let's take the shield boys. You guys can go and intercept them on our lands, since they're just archers. Can you please muck in and get these guys? Hey, there we go. We caught the archers. I don't think they're attacking these archers. They're just sort of standing over there. That's fine. Once we kill these archers, 
Oh, we lost two more retinues. Shit. Victory! We have defeated one of his armies. Which is well nice. Return to your jobs. Another army. What was army? That's fine, they're gonna leave. And we've finally, finally <laughs> taken a territory off the Baron. It's taken like three streams, but we've got the. Here, let me put you back in, Verastral. Um, oh, I gotta disband them first, one sec. Disband. Disband. We lost four people. Did. No, Barry survived. I don't know where he went. I saw him just then. Barry survived? I swear he's, I saw his name just then. I think Barry died. <laughs> oh shit. It was, um. Coward's character. Barry. Uh, gonna... Three, because it's the third one now. I'm sure it's saved. What do you want? Polearm again, Verstal? That's Varus. Goose. Uh, Bob Ross. Uh, a beluga. Beluga. And had to. There we go. And we. I'll refill the retinues later. Once we've got some more money, because I need to save 750 bucks for the colonization of this region. Get 750. Yeah, if I want the full colonization bonus, we'll save the money. But, good first steps of reclaiming the land. And we're. Oh, where'd all our money go? Oh, it's looking at the wrong region. That would do it. There we go. 1300 bucks? Families are all coming back to refill the armies. We got excess families, we're good. We're back up to full strength. Oh, can I steal money off him? Wait, wait. I can steal money off him, can't I? Uh, this doesn't give up my uh, region, does it? No, he just pays me money. Perfect. <laughs> Such a weird glitch. Yeah, once I hit 750, we'll fill out the retinues again, so we're back up to 24, and I'll start buying armor for you guys. So you actually might survive some fights. <laughs> oh, I get 56 food away, well. Wow. More families moving in. Why are these guys so upset? I'm not food down here. Uh, what's the market? Food fulfillment. Apparently they just don't get food up that end. Don't know why. Whatever, they'll figure it out. Hmm. And we have enough money, amazing. Okay, so I was going to build in this sort of area. So let's throw down the camp, like here. Plentiful. Now I should be able to build a road. I can! I can build a road between regions. That's cute. Let's go to like that. And the whole goal of this is to have a hunting camp and make epic food in this region. Uh, we need to, And maybe wood. We'll make all this a wood production area. Woodcutters. And I need the storehouses. So... Am I missing anything else? Housing, I guess. We can put the housing in. First, some roads. Right, slightly longer. Five houses to begin with. They need a well. Oh, there's no water. Water's all the way over here. Oop. That's no fun. Uh, and a market. 
big market square in the centre of town, hopefully. Can I put a road across? I wonder if I can fit the church in there. Let's have a look. Oh, wait, wrong, all the wrong buttons. Church. Where's church? Here. Oh, it's just not big enough. Uh, if we delete one of these roads... I can sort of fit it in. I'll try and put a church in the centre of town as well. Yeah. Oh, I need a sawmill pit as well. Have I got the wood? I might have wood for foresters as well, so we can go full industry to start with. Actually, let's skip that one and put the hunters in just to get food coming in. Okay, second town being developed. What should I name it? Got a good name for a town, Verstal? I think I'll rename this town. Uh, turtle Land, because that's what I turtled. <laughs> Higsass. Okay, I can do that. Hog, Hig, Sass. There you go. The hunting town of Hig Sass. I might even put some wheat in. Pronounced Hig's ass. Okay, I like it. We're gonna pretend it's. Well, it probably is boars actually. What's in the hunting regions? Does it show? Ah, oh, it's deer. I'll pretend they're boars. Hig's ass, like hog's ass or something. Can they... I'm building the warehouses first, I mean that's fine. I need a family in here to move all the bread inside before it rains. One logging camp to start with. And then they've got to get their houses up. Start with 30 tools. The tools are going to be used for something later on. they got to be, right? They're going to be miserable over here to start with, I think. There's the berries over here. Put berry gatherers in. I'll set the region this works in to... Is it control scroll? Like that region there. Same for this one. And we got wood coming in, so I can put the foresters in. And then I'm gonna have to start putting more housing in so the actual place expands. Save the wood up. Yeah, building a second colony is kind of nice. Got spare families here. We could just start claiming the next territory and fight him again. We got the manpower and I've got the influence. Let's do it. Start the claim. Start rallying the troops. I forgot to buy more retinues. I don't rally. Let's give you guys armor instead. Cheap as shit to give you guys armor. Because I'm buying armor in on the market. Uh, Luger. That too. You guys get nice armor, everyone else gets shit. Oh, Bob. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was uh, a little bit lazy with naming this time. Okay. Rally the troops. Mm. 
Where's the battlefield? Here. Okay. No, I'm not ending it. Turn that off. Mount up to here. Oh, there's their army. The same force again. Can I get mercenaries in? No, I think the I think the Baron has them on retainer. And they're just not letting me hire them now, so Yeah. He's already trying to uh, bribe me and not to attack him. He knows he can't face face us. Higgs growing, first level. What was I thinking in this region? I think I was just gonna go full hunting, so straight to trapping. Just increase the amount of meat coming in. I'm not gonna bother with trade at all in this region, because I'll trade manually. Yeah, we'll go full trapping. Let's where's the hunter's camp? Hasn't been built yet. Come on, man. Rally up. They're in the battlefield. I kind of want to fight them, like, here. Maybe try and keep the stream in the way to try and slow them down. I do like the, the stream is the border between the territory. That's very cute. Okay, man. Rally. Archers. I'm going to do the retinue take on the fight with the brigands again. Where's the archers? Here. You guys. Stand out a bit. I should probably save, uh, just in case. I don't think we'll lose, but, you know. <laughs> just in case. You guys go a bit further. Arrow watch. So, you two muck in there. Push forward. You're on fire at will. They're fighting. Perfect, let's go. I want them to start killing the other archers. We should take these guys on easily. Well, hopefully you guys don't die. And we should outman everyone else. That's going to be the weakest fight. But once we kill their retinue, we should be good. Or once we break the brigands. Oh, we lost a guy. There we go. There goes the retinue. Push in. Right, go and help your allies. They broke another unit. Easy win. They couldn't do shit this time. That charge in the back. Ooh! <laughs> Immediately broke them. <laughs> right, everyone, muck in. Get those archers. God, it must feel bad to be an archer regiment with people with actual weapons turn up and fight you. Oh, we lost a guy. Wow, that archer just stabbed him. That was bad. That should be it. Victory! Easy. And we can go and steal money from him quick before uh, it expires. 360 bucks. Okay, disband. Wait, two regions. We've got a third of the map back. It's happening. <laughs> We're doing it, guys. Finally reclaiming the lands. Right, did any of our main guys die? No, Verstal's still alive. I think we're good. Let's use that money to immediately refill. <laughs> Tommen has an evil twin. Amazing. Secret in love with the Lord's daughter. Verstal loves animals. Aww. <laughs> Goose loves animals, which makes sense. Was a bandit and robbed travellers. 
Kind of prophetic dreams. Foreigner in a distant land. Very cute. Okay, how's this town doing? We've got wood coming in, so we can expand the housing. Really? Give me a fifth house, please. There we go, five houses, go. I need to put some, uh, some more housing for the farms. Maybe I'll do a big farm out here. Actually, to do that, I might put a road in, just to make sure. Why aren't they building this well? Oh yeah, finally after <laughs> God knows how long I've been playing, I can actually take the fight to the Baron again. How's the army looking? And they're all golden, they're back up and equipped. Got plenty of money. Two families free. <laughs> well done, well is done. Should be access to water. Approval's not great here. We're gonna need a tannery to deal with the hides. Oh, I need to sign the work areas for this. Something like that. Same for this one. There we go. What are the idle families doing? Why aren't they building anything? Are they building anything? Not really. Or a barry hut that's barry hut's also not being built. Come on guys, you gotta get some work done, otherwise your morale's gonna drop like crazy. We need to get back over fifty percent morale quickly. Oh, I need another oxen. That would probably do it. There's a hitching post. Put that in. Yeah. One family can go hunting to try and keep the food supply. I'm gonna need a family on. Not on the. St Actually, maybe on the storehouse. Take it out of the granary. Work in the woodcutters so we got fuel coming in. And then I just need to juggle to try and get the church done. And that'll fix the morale here. Yep, morale's not good. Oh, they're trying to claim Higgs' ass. Rally the troops, how dare they. Cut the bells of war. God, look at the troops swarm in from everywhere. Exactly. I can't let them take away your lands. Let's get the troops in and then we'll fight the claim. How's logging looking? 15. God, it's quite an impressive army, actually. <laughs> Build up your troops like this. Right, fight the claim. Where's the battlefield? Wait, the battlefield's over there! What? Okay. No. No, I'm not gonna give up my claims for this region. Where's their army? Can't see it. Advance. 
How's the logging doing? 18. I need to get them over to max out. 28, I think. Wait, we're full animals? Not enough hunters going. We can remedy that. Let's put uh, another hunting camp in. Okay, where's their army? What are they doing? We'll rally their troops like here, and we're just gonna stand there for a bit until their army rocks up. We done the hunting camp? We got people hunting. We got the tannery up. How many logs have we got here? 21. Let's build up a bit more. Have they even got an army left? Don't feel like they even have an army left. Kind of bold of them to attack without an army. <laughs> Is the air expecting me to just roll over and just give it to them? Let's take this one off, start sawing planks. We'll get to church level. No army coming? Hmm. Weird. Or bark and no bite. Can I have some planks, please? Oh, I was gonna buy more uh, oxen. Let's do that. Speed things up. Oh, enemy unit spotted. Where are they? They spawned in my town. Okay, fine. Bastards. Let's set up on this side of the river. Again, to force them to cross to lose a little bit more stamina. Archers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know more enemies are spotted. Ratchet on the side. I'm assuming they're just bringing the same force again. No other side armies anywhere? No. Nope. They're just in the forest over there somewhere. You can sometimes find them if you mouse over it. Oh, there they are. There they are, in the trees. What have we got? That's three groups. Not seeing as many as before. Scaring the hunters in the woods. Four groups, okay. That's less than last time, I think. Good for us. How many planks are we sitting on? None. Oh no, they've got a fourth, fifth group. What's that symbol on their head? It's like a fire symbol? I don't know what that means. Wait, are they going pillaging? Is that what's happening? They seem to be going into town. They're gonna go burn down my town, I'm gonna be pissed. Are they actually burning down my town? Oh no, they're coming back into the woods. Or not? They thought about pillaging my town and then turned around. We'll fight them in the woods then. If I can find them. Don't do it, Bat. Dude. Yeah, I know they keep appearing. Right, archers spread out. Soldiers up. You over here, because the but these guys are coming up on the right. Archers going. Fight begins. Charge. Keep an eye on the rest of them. Where's those barbarians? They're here. Let's have them go in. Just 
Charge, muck in, lock them down. Well, just do your thing. Rashid is going around the side. They're gonna have a bad day. That's bad. I don't like that. Just a loose regiment sticking around. I have you pull back. Okay, Malk in the side. There we go. Engage him for the flank. Keep them locked down. Gowns are going. We haven't lost anyone yet. They're about to break. Which is perfect. Okay, come in the side. Ah, they're all breaking. Glorious victory. Where are the archers? Chase them down. Retinue in the back. Go on, boys. Ah, oh, we lost two the retinue, man. There we go. Got them. So it's just their archers left, which are fleeing, I think. Where'd they go? They are fleeing. <laughs> come back here. Fight me! Feels bad to be an archer. Wow, he's using his polar with one hand. Oof. That should be victory, right? Or not? Are there any more units? Why didn't that count as victory? Oh, because the battle didn't start. Shit, I should have lured them over closer. Okay, well, who needs replenishment? This group. You can disband, go home and have a rest. Same with you. We'll leave the rest on standby. Just gotta hold the territory for 60 days. How are these guys doing? Got any planks yet? No. Why don't we have any planks? I think it's down to 10. I know we do have planks, it's just not showing up. Almost enough for the church. There we go, there's our church. Fix the road that I put in before. And then what's left? Keeping the tannery alive, so turn this off. Go work in the tannery. No. no I'm not going to give up my claim. Not until you declare your loss. I think I will disband this group just so I can rehire that extra guy. Did we lose anyone? Don't think so. Well, no one important at least. And then re-rally that troop just so we have them ready to go in case there's a fight. Yeah, because I think they didn't start the battle. They don't consider the war, or well, the battle done. They didn't get close enough to trigger the defense mission. Almost ready. Could start doing the trading. Do they have spare food over here? Mm, a little bit of meat. That way I'll wait for the families to start moving in more. Let's start getting more housing plots just to make sure we don't run out. I was going to do big farms here, wasn't I? I want to try and make them double stack families. Like that. One. Two. Let's go for five. Big farm families. Three. Four. And then one more. Too big. There we go. Five. Expand the road out a bit more. Oh, this is heavier than it looks. 
<laughs> right, I don't think they have another army, which is kind of nice. I've re-rallied the troops if we get uh, more people needed. I'm gonna expand it so the church can bury people. Oh, they've got graves in the church now. That's cute. For all the brave men that fought for us. Forty-three days until we defend it. To be fair, while we're defending this, it stops them from attacking anywhere else, so not such a bad thing. I could probably start building my manor over here as well to see if we can build the retinue. Oh, I need more families. And I prioritize this, please, of all things. The church is the morale. All the houses should be fine for everything else except for church access. Once that's done, they'll start having more families move in slowly. Then we can think about upgrading once we've got more families. But, I think that's Higg's ass defended properly. Only lost like seven or eight men, which is kind of nice. No, I'm not going to give you money. Stop it. Give up your claims on my lands and we'll, we'll talk about your surrender, unconditionally. Can I upgrade one of these? I can, so I get more oxen in. I want to move this to... Just put it over here. Fifteen days. No armies on the horizon. Put more chicken coops in. That's a f oh, we got tons of eggs now. We're good. Finish this house, please. There's chickens done. What was I going to use those families for? Oh, church burials. And corpse pit. There we go. Oh, enemy unit spotted. Where? They're bringing another army straight through my lands again, of course. Since we're going to defend nine days, we're probably going to win before they get here. Turn running off for everybody, please. Nope, off, off. I'll we'll just fight them in the field. Even if it doesn't end the battle, we win. Gonna be a lot of bodies to deal with, but it's fine. Where are they? Still in the woods. There they are. Where's their brigands? On the right. Okay. They seem to like putting them on the right hand side of their formation. Archers, knock arrows, aim, fire, begins. Right, 
they're in charge of fighting them again. It's a shame their army doesn't change up. Right, you go there. Start charging. Let's have them go around the side and flank from the back. Archers move up. Are they going to take a loss? They lost a guy again. They always seem to lose one or two guys when fighting these brigands. There we go, another one dead. Fire at will. Hey Quirriton, welcome welcome, how are you doing? We are taking the fight to the Baron, finally. We've been defending for too long. We are reclaiming the lands. All broken, where's their archers? Everyone chase. You missed some rounds the other night, Quiritum. Yeah, we got Veristal in and got more players, so we need to do a proper rounds night sometime. I think I can disband the army now. We only got six days to defend and we're winning, so. You can't really hear me because I'm in school and everyone is yelling. Oh, no, no worries. <laughs> You don't need to hear my voice anyway. <laughs> but thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Can we please... Please get some of these buildings done. It should just be a case of building the church. New family moving in, that's fine. Everything's assigned. Look at all the army streaming back in after the battle. Room for a few more families, which is kind of nice. Battle's about to end. We should win. There we go, battle won. Now let's go and steal money from the dude, since he'll let me. 460 bucks. Damn. I think with that, we're gonna deck everyone out in armor. A full heavy armor squad. Treasury emptied, so we'll buy it directly. There we go. Full squad, heavy armor dudes. Let's go. Just need to finish the church and this town can start expanding. Fingers crossed, it's quick. That one's going. Nearly done that one. Hire in more orcs to speed stuff up. And there's the church done. So we just gotta wait for the morale to get back over 50%. And we'll start getting families rock up. Which should be good. Uh, and then we can start probably working on the manor next. Once they finish building this. 31 dead in this region. Oh, they're all dead on the borders, okay. Where's the corpse pit? Kinda don't want it on the trading route between the town, but... Hmm. Let's put a little road out. Corpse pit as you come into town. <laughs> Not the nicest look in the world, but whatever. Just scare off the enemies. Uh, building houses, is that one done? Put that at priority to just get it done. None of these guys are all villagers. 
Don't think so. I don't think we lost that many people in that fight. There we go. Upgrade. Well, 43%. Come on. A little bit further. Once this is done, I'll assign them to the sawmill and they'll wait for the families to move in to build the rest of the houses. There we go. Into the sawmill you go. Stop making me planks. I'll fix our construction. Forty percent. It's just gonna keep going up. Higgs ass needs to grow. I guess next we need to look at like tavern. I kind of need to like oversupply ale over here. Hmm. How much malt do we have sitting around? None. Is that because we're not trading enough? No, they've got 25. Storehouse is pretty full. It's full of charcoal. Oh, 49% almost. Fifty-two, okay, we should start getting families come in and this town can start growing. And then we work on the manor. See if we can cheese the system to get more manor people. Uh let's make the manor here. Right off a little square. And that'll be the manor house. We build the tower as well after if we can. But I really hope we can get another retinue with this. Really hope. This would be kind of funny to just have bigger and bigger armies that they can't deal with. Oh, I'm not sped up. Come on, game. Give me a mother family. Now's the time. Sixty percent. Drops again. It really is the starting of the town that's the most difficult. Until you can stabilize, you've got the church, you've got the water, you've got one of each of the productions. No worries, Query Term. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day at school. And hopefully we'll catch you later, yeah? Um, but yeah, it really is the start, setting up the towns, because the rush to get enough morale to import more people. Once you can get more families in, it's not so bad on challenging. It's just difficult at the start. Cause five families isn't enough. We really need like two more families to really make it easier. More, one more ox. That'll cover all four slots. We can assign one to here. Might as well do it now. And one to here. Then two will be on construction. Come on, game. Give me a sixth family. Come on. We're getting up to 64%. It's fine. Just, just give me the family. Forty nine percent. Okay. Come on. Seems to reset at the start of each month. It's kind of annoying. I think from now on it will now be over the fifty five percent at the start of each month, or fifty percent. Which I think means families will start moving in. 
Hopefully, fingers crossed. Because I think they remember some of like the previous month's issues. And slowly forget it over time, so you could just sort of keep the minimum start of month value above 50%. Hopefully. I can start... Uh, yeah, putting chicken coops in to expand the food. And they're out of money. I'll just make sure we've got a second food source in here before the bread runs out. There we go, all the chicken coop's done. And once the manor house is here, I think we start getting a little bit of income from tax for the regional wealth. I should probably put a traders in for once we sell whatever we're trading back for. Got everything else set up. I could use the stone and clay pits and stuff. Ship the iron across as well. To put the tavern in somewhere too. Tavern next to the church. That that seems very English. <laughs> Hey, family moved in. Perfect. Okay, so they're now stable. We are increasing our population slowly. And that means construction's going all over again. Don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. Yeah, stabilized. Very nice. We've got enough to go and claim another territory. What should we take? Siblets, Moldbrand, or Etchenhal? Etchenhal? Any of them particularly well. Barry Deposit's pretty good. We'll go Siblets and keep our armies like in this region. Claim of Influence. Rally the armies. Gonna try and fight him on the point. Yep, they're fighting me for it. No, I'm not going to give it up. There's their army, where's the battlefield? Right in the center. Good. Why do they get good, ba good battlefields and I don't? No one's running still? Perfect. It close enough. Hoping my men's fatigue will come back. Oh, you get a big defense bonus in home region. I did not realize that. Huh. Makes sense, I suppose. Close enough for the battle to start. We are. Okay. Let's pull back and fight in the home region then. Since the battle started. We may as well take advantage of that. They are still coming, so... New over here, since they always put the brigands on the right. Soldiers, fan out. Nope, except for you. Here they come. Fire at will. You guys move over here. Archers ready. Engage. You guys move to like here. Okay, charge them in the water. Charge them down the hill. We're breaking their troops. Hopefully, we won't lose anyone now that they're on full armor. Archers should be doing their thing. Keep firing at their archers. Yep, we didn't lose a man that time. Down the hill, boys. They're exhausted though, I probably shouldn't have made them run. Their archers are fleeing. Cowards, flee from the battle! Shameful display! Muck in, kill their troops. 
There we go, broke him. Right, you stay here because you're exhausted. Swordsmen stay here. You guys chase them down. Come on, we just gotta catch those arch archers. There we go. Let's watch the slaughter. Victory! Another region returned to our control. And let's go steal some money off him, because I can, and the game lets me. Yep, give me the money. 415 bucks. God, look how much money we've got. <laughs> Spend. I don't know what this spare family is working on at the moment. But, a nice victory to start with. Five more regions. We just need the influence. Oh, they're building the manor. Okay, that's fine. I really want to get another retinue. It's gonna kind of bullshit OP if I can just keep getting more retinues. We do! Holy shit. Extra 12 men squad, fully armoured. <laughs> Amazing. That's so bullshit that you just get another squad like that. So basically, I gotta claim all the regions, put a village down, place a single manor house, upgrade it to the second squad, and we're just gonna get a bigger and bigger armour each time. I still think it's silly they limited your army size. Cause like, this nation could start... start, like, providing troops as well. Not nation, this village. Can I build the... Oh, I can. I'll go. How do I put... Place roads. Come up. There we go. And we got the 24 man. <laughs> Should start getting a little bit of money come in. Oh no, we need to upgrade the houses, don't we? How many do we need? Not that many. We'll do these ones first. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. So we got tons of extra housing. And these will be my ones upgrade to level 3. Or whatever level, because they're the farmers. Getting a few extra people. Let's do berry gathering next. Then I should start thinking about trade. Uh, what do they have a surplus of? Nothing much. Planks. Let's start shipping planks over. So, first trade route. This group. Barter with Higgsass. We're going to send them tools and take planks. I think was planks. Planks. And the reason for that is I'm going to sell planks here. Oh, but there's money. I should have saved some money for the trade route. Oh well. But yeah, I'm just going to make this like a wood industry place to start with. And the planks will fuel the production industry. I might even make a bowers here. Or fletchers. Because, yeah, we're shortage of planks all the time, but not a shortage of anything else. So, we should be good. Go on, finish the man up. One plank short? What's happening? More families moving in, very nice. Let's get firewood sorted again, because we're very low. There we go. And immediately, 
No, don't rally. 24 man. <laughs> We're out of money, but that's fine. We'll get more money. Storehouse. Granary needs setting up next. And once families rock up, they'll uh, fill in the rest of the housing. But yeah, an extra rescue is really powerful, I think. And something to just spend my money on, cause unless I start colonising the next regions. Not a huge amount to do with them. Are they trading yet? Should be. Oh yeah, they are. So they should be getting more and more iron tools. Yeah, we're up to 53. 56, yep. They don't ship that much at a time. Because our storehouse is full. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Need to upgrade them. Uh, partner region has no storage for this kind of good. Oh yeah, because the storehouse is full. Drop this family out and go and upgrade the storehouse. Houses are going. Just waiting for food requirements to be met. Should be fairly soon. Upgrade. Not enough wood. Let's upgrade this. Well, not upgrade. Increase the amount to 20 so we're storing more logs. Hey, extra families. Perfect. You back there. Could grow beer here. Actually, maybe I'll do beer in the other one and ship that into here, and not bother getting them up to level three. Maybe. Not sure. Oh, I was meant to upgrade the, this. Never mind. I need to set up the traders so they get some money coming in, so I can upgrade all these houses with chicken coops. Prioritize that. Let's keep upgrading this retinue. They're all heavy armored, these guys aren't. Cool, expensive to upgrade them here. Food's not looking good. I just need families to move in, that's the big thing. Trade is done. Can I pay for the tools trade route? Where is it? 36 bucks. Damn. Hey, Higgs that's leveled up. Keep doing the skinning route. Get this, make the hunters super pro. And can I put a policy in? I can. So animals will regenerate faster. So I can put like four hunting tracks on this one. We should get a tiny amount of money each month from these houses being level two. Oh, they haven't moved in though. Hmm. Once families move in, traders. I need to get to 36 bucks. Wish I could like donate money straight to this region. Two, three. Uh, upgrade the granary. Then we'll upgrade the houses. Nice, they are moving into these houses next. 
Which is good. That's what I need. Great. Seems like they need a random road just going up this way. Otherwise the oxen seem to take a really long route. Couple of roads through so they can navigate back without having to go all the way around. My timber looking not great, we need some more. I need the foresters back to try and refill this land with trees. Just need families. Need families to move in. Oh, I need to ship the clothes in. Okay, we can start doing that. Next trade route. To Higsas. Send shoes. Receive. Hmm. What do I want from them? I don't really want more planks, do I? Could take the tools back, just have a ring ring around the rosies type deal. I've got leather to spur. Do I have leather to spur? I have tons of leather to spur. I actually need another cobbler maybe. I'll bring meat over actually, let's do that. Meat. Because we're going to have tons of meat. Hopefully, at some point. Once I get more families moved in. Speaking of families moving in, you go and be the foresters. Oh, they're not finding room to store the f crops. Upgrade. Getting there. Fuel's not looking good because the trees aren't regrowing. Soon. Band of raiders. Ooh, that's not great. Oh, that's fine. We'll fight them off. Man, rally up. Let's rally here. I'll leave the other retinue on the other side. We don't need them out just yet. They don't need their first battle. Right, you're not running. Stop running. I probably didn't need the full army to fight some bounders. Oh well. Show them the folly of their ways. Is it? Is it four groups like last time? It is four groups. Hey boys, push up. Oh, they need the fuel supply. That's fine. Why are these guys so much faster than the rest? Here they come. Should be a stomp. I don't really need to think about this battle. Archers step back. Everyone else spread out. Here they come. Bring one back in, and I'm going to keep an eye on that group so they don't get my archers. Into the fray. They just try to sneak by? No, they're coming. Perfect. Charge. Yeah. They're collapsing. Perfect. Get them, boys. Hit the cheerleaders. We're mucking on the last group. Damn raiders. <laughs> Full on charge is kind of brutal, isn't it? 
There we go. Go away, Braiders. We don't want you here. We don't like your kind around here. I think I need to max out the foresters to fix the wood supply here. Planks are going. I need the... Still got no money coming in. Are there families in here yet? There are. Okay, fine. I think that means they pay one buck per person at level 2, is that right? Per month. So we're getting one dollar a month at the moment. It's going to take a little while to get to the point of selling tools. And then we should be set for money forever. Hopefully. For this town, at least. Just made some more money. Let's keep... They're going after Higgs' ass again. How dare they? Let's finish upgrading their armor. Where is the... Oh, I haven't set up the battle yet. Okay. Right, rally up again. Sound the bells of war. Ding ding ding. This group needs to be over here. Send the full army this time. Well, with everyone, yeah. Turn the sprint off. Turn the sprint off. Where's the battlefield? Over here. Okay. Unless they don't go raiding again like last time. No, nope, not, not paying you all. Kinda wanna make sure they attack the battlefield to end it quickly. I don't wanna spend 90 days waiting. Maybe if I set up here and lure them backwards, that'll work. Just don't hit my town, please. Have some honor in your fights. There we go. They spawned back up. Where's the battlefield? Gotta get a bit closer. Come on, chase my troops. I think they are. Back up a bit more. That should be close enough. Let's start setting up my troops. Put both retinues on one side, and they'll fight off the brigands again. Spread out. Take ranks. Archers set up. There we go, battle begins, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I don't know where the brigands are. There. Okay, it's alright, we'll keep an eye on them. group to engage this. Okay, let's try to chase down the retinue but it's not working. Full speed, cut them off. Oh, they might catch the retinue on its own, but that's fine. Archers move over here so you don't get caught out. Ah, we caught them, perfect. Retinue's killed this squad, didn't lose a man. Right, one one long sprint. Actually make them walk, it's fine. These guys are gonna have a bad day. Put it on defense. Hold the ground with your shields until these guys can muck in and hold help out. There we go. Keep charging. Don't know where their archers went. Where are their archers? Oh behind us. What the fuck? Okay, charge, you're close enough. 
Can you go and chase the oh, archers? Back attack. They're having a bad day. <laughs> Look at that morale drop. Surrounded. <laughs> That's bad, guys. I'm gonna give up. I'll let you run away. There we go. Where's their archers? Let's grab them. Charge before they run. Oh, broke as soon as they got in contact. That should be a victory, unless there's anyone else. They're not broken yet? They're not broken yet, that's weird. That didn't end the battle. Um, have they got more troops somewhere? Oh, there we go. Expand, you go home. In defense of the lands! How awesome. I'm getting there. What's our influence at? 2.4k. We could just press the advantage. Let's do it. Oh, wait, first we're gonna steal money off him. We demand payment for your loss, your insult to my men. We will start recovering. And we're just gonna get ready to attack the next one. Hopefully, with all the men rearmed. You don't run. I didn't lose any of the rest of you this time as well. Plate armor really makes a difference. <laughs> 16 bucks. Okay. How are they doing? They need tavern and church. Hmm. Put another family in the foresters to keep the wood supply going. Yeah, because it fuels the problem. And we're waiting for 36. This army. Okay, everyone rally up. And we'll take Wildland next. It's going to be a problem when we're fighting on the opposite end. Just getting my troops there in time. I suppose that's why it gives you 90 days. There's plenty of time to get troops anywhere on the map. Give them a little time to recover their fatigue. And in fact, while they recover their fatigue, I'm going to make a cup of tea and go pee. So give me one sec, guys. You can stare at the soldiers while I go pee. Let's make them look cool. Uh, archers. Oh, boy. Awesome. Right. I will be right back, guys. Let me go make a cup of tea. Don't go anywhere. And we will uh, begin the next assault in a minute. Yeah, be right back. Hmm, I think my milk's going off. That's not good. I will uh, have Chinese tea instead. I think I've got some.
Alrighty, I am back. Let's uh, carry on. Give me one second to switch it back over. Custom game. There we go. We're back. Let's go. Got a cup of green tea. Troops are doing their thing. How's the recovery? Oh, they've recovered pretty well. Begin the assault. We've only got a couple more regions to go, so... Oh, why can't I claim that? Can't claim when enemy are present. What? Where's the enemy? Is it not the men that were fleeing the battle? What enemy units are there? Just gonna mouse around to see if I can find any units. Just wondering if it's the guys that were running from the last battle, maybe. No. Unless there's some enemies hiding in this territory. Can I claim a different region? It is just this region I can't claim. Weird. Are there bandits hiding in the woods or something? Can't see anything. Oh, what's that? No, I think it's just the deposit. Maybe we'll step into the region and just ask. If not, I'll go for a different region, I guess. I'm assuming there's like one bandit hiding somewhere in here. I guess I could do that region if need be, but I'd rather just do a sweep. Trying, no. There's like a 500 man bandit camp, like in here somewhere. I hope it's not bugged. Higgs' ass is running out of fuel. Shouldn't be. Still waiting for families to move in. We need a bit more money. Shouldn't have built so many chicken coops, save some money over there. Oh, I can't queue up orders, that sucks. I was pressing shift to try and put multiple waypoints, but I guess that's not built into the game yet. Bandits hiding out here? Like, I'd see them if they leave the forest, so they can't have moved yet. Check this side. Let's really stretch out the line to cover the whole forest. It's like we're searching for lost child or something in a forest. No? The fuck? Can't claim when enemy units are present. What enemy units? Where are they? Try this forest again. Very odd. Okay, keep moving. That's gonna cover the whole forest. We should find them if they're there. No? What's Hixas doing? He's got spare families again. Let's increase the forestry going. And then next, hunting. Get more food coming in. How many old families have we got coming? That's the wrong map. Can you switch back? Higgs ass. 
We've got room for six more families here. What am I gonna make them do? One, two. So that's two families. Maybe another woodcutter, that's three. So I've got three more families. Four for the forager's hut. Leaves two, which I want to build more housing for the next group. So let's get this road going a bit further. Um, did they find anything? Apparently not. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my army to here. We're going to save and reload and see if that tr fixes it. Okay, save. Save 18. Load game. See if that fixes it. It's kind of weird. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We'll fight them in this field. Because they'll contest it. They always contest it. Or not. Ah, there they go. Where's the battlefield? Standing in the battlefield. Perfect. I'm not going to give up my claims. There they are on the left. Where is the battlefield? I can stand like here. Should have a pretty good layout. So, retinues on the right. Archers behind. Just gotta wait for them to arrive. How's Higgs ass doing? It's going. Happiness is still fine. Do I have any up houses to upgrade? That one needs upgrading. Why aren't they? Oh, because none of the things are fulfilled. It's fine. And we're just waiting for money in this town. It needs to get to 36, I think it was. Could sell planks and speed it up. Sure, why not? Establish trade route. Export. Oh, that means the battle's starting soon. Sell it when it's over 150. Here we go. Right, fight time. Let's go. Oh, the ba brigands came this side this time. Archers spreading out. You guys, go and engage them. Here comes the armies. Charge. Charge. Archers play. I don't know. Pookie boo with those guys. Retinue is being pushed back already. Wow. Good start for us. Gans are about to die. Nice and easy. Man, two, two, fifty, basically heavy armored boys don't stand much of a chance against some guys wielding wooden clubs. We lost two guys over there to their retinues, but that kind of makes sense. My knights can pull in. Have you run? We lost a guy there. That feels bad. Charge! Bam! They're collapsing here. They're gonna retreat any second now. Broken. And their retinue broke. Right, everyone else, charge in. I think these guys can just return home. The battle is won, so they can just leave, and the rest will do chasey around the playground, chasing these archers. Go on, catch him. 
Catch him. Yeah, we got a couple. No, keep chasing. That guy's gonna have a bad day. <laughs> got one of them. Just run through all these deer. Go on, catch up these one sprinty boys. <laughs> Come on, boys. Catch up. Man, they just ditched their friend. Let me use follow. No, it's just this one. Man, we're just chasing around the whole area. You go home. Archers aren't helping. Gonna have to give up at some point. There we go, we caught him. Finally stopped. Victory! Another region for us! And let's go and steal some of his money. 500 bucks. We're rich. Disband. Easy win. Go and send them home, recover their troops. They lost a few men, but it's fine. They died valiantly for the defense of me. These guys are nearly home. Haven't quite broken out of the family demand I needed over here. This band, perfect. We are up to 16 families though, which is kind of nice. Feels looking bad still. Hopefully the forest has stopped. Making up for the uh, supply issues. At least that was the idea. Doesn't feel like they're doing that. Maybe I start shipping coal over here. What would I take back if I send coal? Oh, they have money, perfect. Okay, uh. 72 bucks. Okay, fine. Export down to zero, because I don't need any tools. Let's keep 10. And we can stop shipping planks out. Uh, shall I stop storing planks so I don't get quite so many? Nah, that's fine. I think we will upgrade the cobbler's family here. Because we've got tons of extra leather. Where is the cobbler's? Like one of these ones, isn't it? I cannot remember which is the cobblers. This one. Upgrade them, that'll get another family in there. How's our iron looking? Not many iron slabs. So actually, this miner's at capacity. Um, we could put more brewing in. How's the hunting looking? Hunting is pretty good still. How's the storehouse looking? Storehouse is full. Okay, let's build another storehouse. Um, they're all having bad issues with food and supply, so storehouse over here. Food is fine here, right? Oh, that's a wrong town. Yeah, there is food, it's just they're not collecting it even though they make their own food, which is kind of weird. They've got 20 eggs in the house and they don't count any of that as supply. Weird. <laughs> Market's oh, growing there. Like beef. Oh, thank you. Thank you, the small kid, for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Hope you enjoy. We are fighting off the Baron slowly. We've got half the territories back. My army is strong, and we're just sort of, sort of building up while we wait for influence to come back through. But after three streams of defending only in my main territory, it's kind of nice to break free. I really need some more fuel here. Are they really not getting any trees built up? Hmm. We need one more family upgraded here, which they can't do because there's not enough supply. 
A little bit of supply issues here. Not ideal. There's the storehouse completed. Let's upgrade it. I'll assign what, four families to that. Should help with the storage issues. That is a lot of firewood being stored here. Jesus. Maybe if I stop keeping the firewood here, that would help. And like force it to be stored elsewhere. <laughs> kind of do the same here, I think. What, what am I denying? I'm denying planks, malt, and wood. No, uh, firewood. Planks, malt, and firewood. Okay, they can just build the storehouse, we'll be good. Go on, haul that lumber. Needs one more log. Come on. Cobbler shop just upgraded, that's nice. There's the last log. Come on, build that house. There we go. Four families. Turn off planks, turn off malt, turn off firewood. I think we're good. Cool. This town has money again, finally, so we can start upgrading all of these with more chicken ho coops to uh, make sure our supply of food is going. These are going to have farms. Now increase the supply of food as well. That one needs to be upgraded, but it needs supplies. These guys, more chicken coops. Perfect. That should fix our food issues here. Or food variety. God, that's a lot of meat. Wow. That's only one family hunting as well. Oh, two. Two's, two's hunting. Cue that up. Cool, everything's set up. Does that help with the lack of entertain- oh, because the two stars don't have a pub yet. Kinda want to do the church first. What's the upgrade? 20 stone, 10 tiles. I could probably... I can mine the stone at least. I mean, we may as well. Um, connect that in there. Since this is an infinite mine, I'm, well, a rich deposit, I may as well. Just what I need. And then the tiles, I guess I'll ship in. Trade. I need more money. It's fine, money will turn up. Can I, I wish I could limit how much, like, planks can be stored. Can I exit that? If we built another storehouse with just plank storage, that might help. Maybe, we'll see. Are there any... Oh, there's, there's no one living in there. That's probably why they've got no supply. Because we only need one more house upgraded to get to the next level, which will unlock Hunter's Clay Hides, which I don't think we really need here. Yeah, we've got tons of leather. Oh, maybe I'll put a cobbler in this town. They'll make shoes from all the leather just for themselves, and we'll ship charcoal instead of shoes over here to help with the fuel supply. Which again, shouldn't be an issue, because we've got foresters, so... Don't really know what the foresters are doing. Just waiting for more money. These guys are still doing good. Set up another stall. Where are those stalls? Can I like move the stalls to somewhere else? Because they clearly need it up that way. 
Ooh, we are short on alcohol. Is it because there's not enough barley? Probably. Trade barley up to 50 to Marmoran. We've got money here, so we may as well buy it in. How much malt do we have? None, yeah. Hopefully that helps stem the flow of barley needed. And we can start considering setting up this town as a farming town, maybe. Why not? Anyone got a good name for another town? Um, I'm thinking of setting up, like... Hmm... Somewhere on this side, and then make this all fields. So maybe like here. Firm. Put some roads in. Road through the forest to join up. Oh, that's a weird ending of the road. One more road through the forest. Nice wiggly little roads. Gotta be careful with my wood cutting here, because I don't want to chop down the habitat there. And put a couple more roads in. Over to here. Okay, so can I hmm I make this the woodcutters over here? This set of trees. We can put the logging camp here. Oh, zoom out. Firewood camp. Foresters and a sawmill. We want f storehouses, wherever they are. Let's put them like here storehouse and granary. Another hitching post to speed up all my production. It's a shame I can't fit it in there. Hmm. Oh, should we'll put it up here so it's next to the other wood cutting and some housing. Do I have enough for ten? Five? Yeah, I do. It's gonna be chicken coops to start with. Need to be slightly longer. Perfect. Uh, that's better. Firm. Build a road. Like that. We need water. Where is water? Oh, right through the centre of town. Amazing. Can't fit it there. Can't put it here. Why isn't it snapping? There we go. And a marketplace, which I think just put it in the centre of town again. Twenty-four spots, perfect. Put a road out this way. Cool. I should hop to it. I want the ah, oh, it's raining. I shouldn't have done this while it was raining. Prioritize these. Lose all their food. Where is their food? That was a really bad choice of starting while it was raining. Food consumed, that's fine. Okay, the rain stopped, we're fine. They didn't spoil the food, which is okay. I was worried that was gonna really ruin it though. Start prepping like a cobbler's shop. That big cobbler's shop. Do I really not have two timber? Why do I have no timber at all? Oh, I thought I'd set it to wait until 20 logs. Oops. 
That'd be why I have no timber. Uh, set up that up again. Gotta wait until another log comes through. And that'll be a cobbler shop. Come on. Really? You don't want to chop down a tree? Foresters do look like they're planting trees again, so... Hopefully we're getting more wooden here. Hopefully. Maybe. Why, why are no logs being cut? What's happening? They're felling trees. Got families constructing, so that shouldn't be a problem. Come home filling true. Got an ox assigned. Guys, where's the timber? What are you doing? Logging camp, please. Come back to that in a sec. How are these guys going? I need one person in there, one in here, one in here. Hopefully we can move everything indoors before it spoils. What is that ox doing? Why did it come like this way around and back? I'm gonna start setting up hunting here after. About there, and berry gathering like here. They can walk the distance, it's fine. Okay, food's moving in, perfect. Move that hitching post at some point. Don't know what they're building next, but there's two families there still constructing, so shouldn't take too long. That one's all set. How's the supplies doing? Better up here. Did a shack get built here? No, not yet. That has fixed the supply down here. I think the market's just too big in the central town and it can't spread out far enough. So they actually do need like local markets all over the place. Which is kind of, I don't, I don't like that. I wish they would, you know, just go out of the way to get it. How are these guys doing? Do they have timber yet? No. Again. Woodcutters, what are you doing? Do you have the oxen freed? Weird. Unless these aren't fully grown trees here. I'm just gonna leave it. They'll be fine. They'll figure it out at some point. That's the new town. Our influence is still taking its time. I think in this new town we're gonna start tithing some some stuff to the church. To uh Start building up more influence. This town could as well. Let's up the tide to 10%. And this is generating all the money for my town, so we're all good. What are these families doing? Why are they so slow? Okay, fuck it. Priority 1. Priority 2, Priority 3. Now they start building the houses. They're just being silly over there. Increase. There we go. 
as they fill these out, they should move closer, so the construction should go faster. Hopefully. Maybe. I need to set the radius on this one. Well, that's radius. Do that region. Where'd they go? Nope, oh, there. So now they're just waiting for timber? It's because we haven't got the oxen yet. Okay, do this one as highest priority then. Then we can bind another ox and speed this all up. No, oh, that's not the ox, which is the oxen. This one. Well, water will make them happier at least, so they don't leave, at the very least. Have to sort out food soon. Hire another oxen. Oh, and when they move in, they get an extra person. Okay. Oof. Feels bad for you, buddy. A name to be giving your child. Kunz. To put it politely. <laughs> okay, water's going. Just need morale to stay stay fine. Just don't go into the negative when we're good. Okay, they have housing for everyone now. I don't know what developments I'm going to do, I'll think about that later. Let's get another five houses in. Why doesn't this side... why does this side get bigger houses than that side? It's weird. Fine. I'm going to think about the church next. Church needs saw, pla saw planks? Planks. Uh, there's meat coming in. That sorts food out, and we'll need a tannery. Put it, I don't know, shove it here. And hopefully these pits get built. We're at 1.2k tithe, not tithe influence. Oof, that's a lot of shoes in our trade depot. I guess we could sell the shoes. Do we have the money for it? Probably. Where are shoes? Shoes. Establish. Export went over. 100? Tools are worthless now, but at least it's generating some money for this town. I need more chickens. Don't have quite enough money to finish that off, but that's fine. Four extra families. Let's uh, two more in berry gatherers. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to tap my microphone. Can put another one in the tannery, maybe. Yeah. Uh, do they have wood yet? They do. Okay, I don't know what was taking them so long, but they're sorted, and we can put our cobblers back in. Giant cobbler's house? No. There we go. Might end up being a giant cobbler's house, I'm not sure. How's this gonna work? That doesn't even make one plot, wow. Uh, got people in the church, housing are sorted, that can be upgraded finally. And then Higgs ass will level up. That was 200 bucks, just got sold there. Let me uh, upgrade your chicken coops. Now we go back to fixing the trade routes here. Which one's sending shoes? This one. You're going to start sending charcoal to help with their fuel supply. Because they're going to make their own shoes next. Hopefully. Someone builds this house. And 
And then I guess we try and do alcohol here? Not sure. Okay. Upgrade, because you need to be level 2 for the cobblers. Sort that out in a minute. How's it doing here? Why aren't they building any of these houses? Like, they're not even building anything, which is kind of weird. Hey, Hyxas leveled up. Okay, that... Oh, not done yet. Oh, it's this house that leveled up. Right. <laughs> Do we need more hides? Probably not. Probably don't need the foreign suppliers. Hey, how to? How are you doing? We are finally on the warpath, pushing the other, the Baron back. We uh, have a second village. The land's being taken back. We're doing great. We're stomping the Baron every time we get a fight as well, which is kind of nice. <laughs> And you can cheese out putting a mana in every region for more retinues, which is kind of funny. Now they're building stuff. Let them finish building, then we switch to... Uh, let's take... Hmm, not sure. Do I need anything else? I need the tannery so we get clothes sorted, and I'm going to need planks, so I need two groups stopped. These guys can stop, they can work in this. I need to maintain ten, please. That will put us at... getting planks next. How are we doing? I'm doing pretty good today. Although my milk is kind of going off, so I've uh, resorted to Chinese tea today. Had a cup earlier, it tasted a little odd. Hopefully it wasn't too off, <laughs> or I'm gonna have a bad night. But nice cup of Chinese tea. We're stomping the Baron, finally, after three streams. And uh, yeah, we're doing great. We're literally just waiting for my influence to rise so I can uh, start claiming the other regions. You found something about about starting. Uh, what do you find? Because it's a little bit of a pain to start off a village, for sure. Like here is not doing great. I need to get the church up soon. I need planks. Guiding an ox, okay. Really need planks. Woodcutters. Oh, didn't mean to zoom out. Set the region for this guy. Oh, wrong button. Control. Okay. And then the foresters again. Let's put you in like that area. When your tents are starting out, you can spend a log to upgrade them and no homelessness debuff. Yes, you can. You can make them work camps or something. It's okay. Um, I prefer to just get the houses in. The homelessness debuff isn't that bad, but it's like, on challenging at least, you need to get the church up as soon as possible. Which is what I'm struggling with right now. Because nobody's making planks. Sign a livestock to it. We might lose a family here. If we lose a family, it's over, I think, in this region. So how many planks do I need? 20. I need to saw four logs, that's all. Don't, don't put them in the logging cap, put them in the saw pit. There we go, one. Four more to go. It lingers though, right? Yes, it does, but once you've got the church, the lingering, yeah, the church and the clothing, you just gotta wait. It eventually goes away, like, um, Higgs' ass has, uh, finally broken out of it, 
that's no longer getting the issues, but it's still got church level 2 low because these guys are looking for a level 2 church. Which is fine. So it slows you down a little bit, but uh, you deal with it, I guess. Um, cobbler's there. They are getting some good money in. Let's uh, make a little bit of tax. 5% please. Another thing is the tithe. What about the tithe? Any planks we're on, we're on five. Come on guys, a few more. Using it bridges the gap in Renown. How so? What do you mean? Can I use it for influence? Ten planks. Come on. Two more logs need to be sawed. And then we stabilize. There's another log moving. One more log. Let's go. It oh, the influence, you mean the first? Yeah, uh, you do the tithe to the church. Um, this tithe here. You give food, and it generates influence, which is how I'm getting my influence at the moment. Yes, uh, f for generating influence and for generating uh, money. Money directly, well, so th the tax, wait, where's my manor house, I'll show you. The only taxes you can do at the moment are the land tax and the tithe. The tithe is the only way to generate influence outside of battles and killing bandits. The land tax takes a percentage of the regional wealth and moves it into your private wealth. Uh, so the more regional wealth you have in the region, the more private wealth you get per month. Um, so it's important that there is money being built up in the region. And slowly it gets converted back to your wealth, which you can then use on the retinues or... Uh, that's it. That's all you can use it on. Oh, t uh, mercenaries. In fact, are there any mercenaries? No, they've all been hired. Um... But it's kind of minor, like you don't, once you've got enough money to deck out your mercenaries, you don't really need the tithe for the tax, uh, for the other one. The influence you get also doesn't affect the happiness of the region, which is kind of nice. Oh, that's bad. Uh, 20 planks, go, go, go. Church, let's have it here. Highest priority, go, go, go. I can take this family off. And they can work in the tannery to fix the clothing supply. I need them to work. We're just at 26. There we go. Getting the clothing in will fix the one of the negatives. I got leeway for one family to leave at the moment, so... Let's take that out. Oh, they're fighting me. Wh which what? Which is Walderbrand, central region. Okie dokie, to war. Oh, don't run. This army needs to set up from here. Don't run. Let the armies build up and then we'll go march over to Walderbrand. Please get that church built quickly. Oops, don't need to zoom in. Planks are done. It's just waiting for the logs now. The army's all set. Don't run. Nope, don't run, don't run, don't run. Let's march up to here. Come on, church. Hurry up. Clothing supplies increasing the morale. Perfect. 
So we're just dipping under at the moment, and once this church is done we should start going upwards. Slowly, slowly build back up to 50% and then get another family in. Come on, one more log. Go on, Oxen, you can do it. There we go, church should be done. And now I've just got to wait for this region to cook, basically, until families move in. Let's put one person on the firewood camp and one person back in the storehouse, and we just got to wait for more families. Once the morale evens out, we've got food coming in, we've got clothes coming in, we're all good. The other thing that comes to mind is each territory gets three buffed resources. Uh, I think it's up to two. Oh, oh shit. Wait, did... Oh, fuck, I forgot to... Wait. How far back is that? Ten minutes ago. Just gonna load back. I, I want I want to fight that claim. One isn't listed with a crown. Really? Oh. So the crown denotes a rich deposit. Has he done his claim? I haven't got my troops out. And I'm still back here trying to get planks. Right, let's turn you off. Put you back on. No, it was me. I was just being blind. I saw the thing and I saw it disappear, but I wasn't even thinking about it. Not your fault, had to. <laughs> well, you're saying that three of the deposits in each region are richer. So those are the two rich deposits. 64, 20, and 238. One... So 64 and 20 are the defaults. 200 and... 120 is a normal size. I don't think 200 is abnormal. 140. That's a rich. Yeah, maybe 200 is considered rich. But this one doesn't. So 100 is low. 114 is low. 98 is very low. 64 is normal in one rich deposit. So I think it's more there's just two rich deposits and the other ones are randomised within a, a, an amount. Up to two rich deposits. So the best region I've seen in the game was a rich berry deposit and a rich wild animals, because I had zero problems with food, ever. Um, like, this was quite a nice start, because you had the iron, so I can uh, do my iron industry, which is booming. I think. Yeah, we're actually using up as much as we can mine, which is kind of cool. Did you check fertility? I did. This is the fertile region. Um, which I'm going to make it a beer region. Oops. Yeah, this is the fertile region. That one's also fertile. Average, that's fertile. But these two are shit. I got shit regions. Um, but this one's going to be my barley region. I'm going to amp up the barley production here. And then ship it back to the main town, because this one's still getting a bit of issue with supplying enough alcohol to the tavern. If I keep it small and produce lots, we should be fine. Just keep it low, like, level 1 populations rather than level 2 and 3s. How many planks have we got? Not enough. Up that one. Let's assign a livestock to that. They can't get the stocks in quick enough. Tannery done. They're definitely doing something weird with the pla the logs here. I'm not sure what's happening. They asked to bring it now. Just leave it for a sec. I think I needed to build the cobblers here. Yep. That fixed it. Did I switch the trade routes before I reloaded? I did, so they're sending charcoal over, which is nice. That should fix their charcoal need. It does. 
Now I just need more housing over here. Well, not really. We've got excess food going out. We've got planks being made and shipped. I can just leave this town. Like, I don't need anything else from this town. I don't need to expand it. Might just leave it. Are there any houses or buildings that aren't filled out? Tannery can... Oh, that's a salt pit. That's the tannery. Oh yeah, we've still got space for more families coming up anyway. That's cool. I'm just gonna leave that town. That's done. Focus on this town now. If they can just saw those planks quicker. Come on, five more planks. Oh, I set the tax on the other town, didn't I? Tax. Got a 5%. Just for a small approval loss. Taxes. 10%. How's food doing here? Yeah, we can put it to 10% here. Cool. I mistyped. But my point is, you get a rich deposits like berries and meat. And you get shit fertility and vice versa. Really? I think it's just randomised. Unless the fertility counts as a rich deposit. Let's have a look. So... Fertility. So my region has two rich deposits and bad fertility. This has two rich deposits, bad fertility. Two and bad. Two and bad. One and good. Two and bad. I think it's fertility counts as a deposit. So in regions with one fertility or in one rich deposit, you get good fertility instead. So in total, you get two rich deposits in a region, which can either be fertility counts as a rich deposit, based on this map. Um, I've never seen three in one region. But I think the idea being is you farm and do one other thing. Or you do two specialisations and not farm, really. I'm farming here just because I can. Yeah, so two rich deposits, at least on this map mode. I can't remember what it was like on the uh, Ruthless Raiders one. Oh shit, I haven't placed the church yet. Whoops. Where's the church? There we go. Turn off the sawmill. Makes sense in what I was thinking. Yeah, it's it's pretty straightforward. I, it's, I didn't think about it until I looked at the fertility and sat down and thought. <laughs> but it makes sense. Have that high priority, please. And then one family into the Tanners. Need to finish that church off and we're good. Oh yeah, this is going to be definitely the Bali region. Maybe bread. Maybe I'll do bread in this region. Although I'm going to need a big population for that. Which is going to suck. Because of the farmhouses. Ugh, don't like it being at 25. Let's take you off while we work on this. getting the timber in before the planks and stone. Kind of weird. Can you start building please? Perfect. One more timber. Yep, there's the claim. That's fine. Let's uh... Start rallying the troops. Sound the bells of war. Ding ding ding. Turn that off. I really wish I could set no running to start with. Church, nearly done. There we go, church done. Go and work in the woodcutters. Perfect. That just needs to cook now. All the brand is this one. 
I'm gonna stare at this bar. While my army slowly marches over. We should get influence for winning the fight as well. Okay, where's the battlefield? Over there? What? Why is it over there? Where's their army? Oh, over there as well. That's fine. Gives us time to march over. I think we'll stick to this side where it's a bit more open. Nope, I am not taking your money. Not yet, at least. I'll take reparations after. In the beginning, I would approach this on the highest difficulty as an RTS and what you roll to plan your strategy. I think so. Um, there is definitely a build order. Like, you have to get the church, you have to get one clothing item, so you have to exploit your animals regardless, because every region has it. It's the quickest way to get clothing and um, f food uh, with only one. So you start with five families. You can't get more families until you've established your town, basically. So one has to be making food, one has to be making the food and clothes, so that's tannery and hunters. One probably has to maintain the market for the like the granary or the storehouse, so that's another one. And then I use the other two families to build the woodcutters, the logging, the saw pit, until I can make the church. And basically you got two families spur at the end, which I then put on firewood making. It's actually harder at the start of the game, because I actually start with way more resources when I do the plentiful start. Uh, this one, this plentiful start, because you get all the extra firewood and food, whereas normally you only start with the 20, 20, 20, 10 from an original start. So in a way I'm actually getting it easier, but yeah, but once you get the build order, then you decide which sort of setup you want. Probably based on your rich deposits. Like for me, it was berries, and the like. I've taken the forest management, and in a way, because I've got the iron, I could focus on multiple branches, like charcoal and deep mining and trading. Sheep was just an extra point. Uh, I could have done helmets, I suppose, but I didn't. Uh, only one farm can operate the sawmill. One farm. Um, you can have two, but it just speeds up the moving of the logs, which it, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Okay, let's start forming up my ranks. Put this here. And the, the only other reason to put two families in the sawmill is they can be busy before they're crafting, so the second family just gives them more opportunity to send a dude over to good craft. If you add more, I think they're waiting. They just go about their life. But when one's free, they have to run over and craft after the log has been taken there. Whereas if they've got free time, one of them can go and grab the ox and put it back. Battle, the brigands are on that side. Let's put the retinues on that side to fight them. Let's spread out the archers. Let's pull back a bit because they try to chase after my retinues, which is not so fun. You come over to here. Come to here. Charge. You two muck in there. You guys chase down the brigands. And now go pay peekaboo with those archers. Just break their flank and then come around behind. We'll lose a few member, but it's fine. Okay, come around behind. Crush them. 
my guys. Oh, we killed the bandits, I think. Did we? I saw a brigade in there. Oh yeah, they are running. Perfect. Right, come back. Slow march. Oh, you want to watch in person? Yeah, I can. Oh, we just missed the fight. <laughs> oh, that guy just stabbed a guy. Got them running away. Cowards! Yeah, we'll go and chase them down in first person view. My soldiers are faster than me! I'm just gonna be chasing these archers halfway around the map. Come back here, archers. Can't run forever. It's easier to watch from here. You guys return. Archers. Sprint. They're all on sprint. Oh, can I ginger burn? Nah, I don't put it on. Kill him! Wait, they broke already? Oh shit. <laughs> the charge just broke them. Okay. So we should win. There we go. And we can be cheeky now. I demand reparations. Thank you very much. Send. 200 bucks. Is he running out of money? I feel like he's running out of money. Okay, disband. But yeah, let's, I'll show you what I mean with the... Hey, we're at 50% with the sawmill. Um, I won't talk about the sawmill, because you're saying one's an operator. Which you're right. Uh, bad example here, there's too many logs stored up. Um, where's my sawmill? It's around here somewhere. There, this one. So. The person who's crafting is the one who actually makes the logs, which I think is... Oh, he's a soldier. Okay, he's going to be ages. <laughs> but once he actually makes it to the sawmill, he does it. But because the other thing, other people have other jobs, like pedaling, pedaling is almost full-time. That means there's only two people left. Um, I don't know what going somewhere means. But there's other things like going home, transporting is bringing wood in. So having one family handle it with three people means there's like one person guaranteed peddling, so there's two people left. The other two have to fight over the job to actually craft the log, the planks. If they're getting food from the market, if they're transporting the log in, and so on, there's less chance that they'll actually do the crafting. So having a second family, which also lo you lose one to peddling, because that's just how it works, means you have four people with the opportunity to craft quicker. So. If you want to speed it up a little bit, it's worth doing. If you don't care, whatever, it's fine. Like, this this town's doing just fine with only one, and they're maxed out on planks, so <laughs> it's all good. And in fact, I want them to only put planks in here. So they don't oversupply. And I can turn planks off in here. It's already off, perfect. Put a family in. Need to upgrade the church. Ah, that's why I was building the mine. Okay, put that in, and let's buy just tiles in, because I'm lazy. Import. Import to 10. I'll upgrade the church to make them a little bit happier. And this one's just waiting for families still. Do have one family, let's put them in there. But what you're saying about the homelessness, so the previous value is what it resets to at the start of the month, I believe. So because they were homeless when they first joined, they still get negatives for a while until it eventually fades out. Which will happen, but it just takes time, so I'm just going to leave it until they get ready. We're pretty close, they're at 45 something. 
At least that's what it looks like when I watch these values. So yeah, if I'd put the, the log into the workers camp early, it would have been better, but it's fine. It's not that bad. But the family can come in at any point in the month, so the second it goes over 50 like there, they can just join at random, from what I've seen. It's not at the start of the month each time. Storage full of the stone cuts. Wow, Jesus, they filled it up already. What the fuck? <laughs> We're just waiting for the tiles to rock up. I've got seven, they need a few more. Where is the tile trader? This guy over here. Let me put a road over here. Speed things up. It doesn't do a UA yet. That should speed it up to get to here. Oh, I forgot to disband these guys. Almost at 2k for the next region. What's the tax here? 10%. We got two. Need more tiles. There we go. So I can upgrade the church. I was just thinking of some new ways to give you an edge when you have those higher settings. No, I appreciate it. It is... it's a difficult start, for sure. Challenging is definitely challenging. Um, might be worth it. Like, if it's only one log, it's not a huge thing. Just depends. Like, getting the church and stuff, I think, is bigger. It's just... yeah, maybe. It would make this downtime waiting for the families to pop up faster. Um, the downside of upgrading it is they only stay with two-person families, which slows down their production of everything, basically. I should probably not have done that. Oh, whatever. Once they move into a house, they get a third person in their families, which makes everything a bit quicker. There we go, my headset's working again. Sorry about that. I don't know why the battery on my headset's not lasting very long anymore. It looks fine when I plug it in, it's just battery's a bit shit. Hey, we got 2.1k. Which region should we take next? This one? Etchenhall? I think we'll claim Etchenhall. Let's rally the troops and then send them out. They're running. I feel like a school teacher. No running in the halls. Rallying. <laughs> okay, get the men over here. And we'll get ready to attack the next region. Two more regions after this. And I will try and get a manor house in this region once we've got more families. I think I'll do that. Turn the plank storage off in here. I don't want to ship planks in from here. I 
Whereas like shipping planks from here to there is fine because this one's using the excess. We're getting like 200 influence a month. It's pretty good. In fact, does that mean if I... Oh no, I've already spent the point. Never mind. I've never tried orchards yet either. Hmm. Oh, this one I'm doing barley, so it's going to be a farming village for sure. Fertilization. Yeah. We'll get there. Let's begin the claiming process. Claim with influence. Yes. Gauntlet has been thrown. Let's fight him. No, I'm not ending my claim. Where is the battle going? Oh, where I'm standing. Okay. There's the enemy. Let's pull back a little bit to make sure they initiate the battle. The barbarians are on the left this time. They've been switching up their positioning. Oh, everyone on that side. Battle begins. War were declared. Stand like this. Can I have you start shooting them? Right, engage. Charge! Yeah, we can watch the battle this time. Oh, I spawned in the battle. On the wrong side, I think. Yeah. Oh. Oh, they're gonna have a bad day. <laughs> Let's go watch my rush need fight. Kill this guy. Come on. We're on the right, I believe. They're on the left. Yeah, we're on the right. Looks pretty cool in person. I hope they add some RPG mechanics. Kind of fun. We broke some people up the top though. Rest you should be kicking their asses down here. Oh, oh shit. Archers! No. Wasn't paying attention. Come back here. Right, you lot, chase the archers down. You guys help with this. Yeah, save the archers. Wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Send another group. Die, bastards! This is my territory. You come to here. Yeah, we got him. Another victory for us. Two regions left. Haven't got another family yet. Soon. Disband. 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 They just need to go home. I think one of the things I've noticed as well is the uh, happiness of the region. Like if we look here, you really need to put smaller markets but all over the place. Like we have enough food for everybody but it's not being spread out to these ones up here because the markets aren't close enough. So I really should cut this market in half and move it round. Since the market over here has been developed, all of these houses are now fine. But they, they just don't have much walking distance for like getting to a market. You really want lots of small markets, not not too many big markets, like I've done, even though it looks cooler like this. 
But you think you could walk down the street and get your food. That's silly. Can I have a family, please? We can start expanding this region. We're at 63%. The value should start dropping off soon. Did we lose anyone in that fight? Nope. Just found them. Come on, game. Give me a family. <laughs> there we go. We're starting off the month over the valley, so that we perfect. It's first come, first nearest is always first. Yeah. Yep. Unfortunately. Well, I think I make my markets way too big. I need to make them like. I don't know. Six, twelve stalls size. And then put markets all over the place, rather than the big, like, 24 slot markets I've been doing. So, sawmill next. I want to keep 10 planks. Let's unassign this livestock. Just wait for more families. We're just waiting for growth now. Yeah, because there is. Also, I need to upgrade the pantries and the storehouse, I think. Yeah, it's just full of leather. <laughs> How's my wood supply? Only eight. Actually, let's put them in here. Actually, if I'm doing farming. And we need the heavy power, I'm probably going to need more families. No, not more families, more oxen. So let's, let's go to 10 in this region. So we've got two at the moment. We can handle four once I upgrade everything. Yeah, 10 will be fine. Another family, perfect. Then I need to sort, about, sort out getting money in here. How's the food looking in this region? We are building up meat, which is kind of nice. Ship charcoal for. Hmm. I don't know what I ship back at the moment. That's my problem. We'll figure it out. Can you build these buildings on a signed family? There we go, they're doing it now. Move this one down here. Row of stables all here. Make sure we've got a road going out. Over to where I want to put the farms, which is like here. Order more ox. Upgrade. 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 Apparently we've got planks through. What do we do? And upgrade. All upgraded. One family can go in the sawmill now. Let's up this to 20, so we've got planks for expansion. Not planks, timbers. Once all the staples are done, I want one in the foresters to try and regenerate the the uh, the woods. Um, then I think we'll think of expanding some more. Yeah, some more houses. Let's start doing it. Water road going this way. And some jumbo mega plots for farming. Let's do like. Nope. There we go. 
One mega plot. Two mega plots. Slightly bigger. No, nope, don't split up. No, nope, don't split up. Stop sp there we go. Uh, let's make it a little bit longer. There we go. Put a road past them as well so we can get round. Not that I really need it, but whatever. Uh, and then two more mega plots. Long. Uh, nope. <laughs> it's a weird plot size. Fine. Oh, I don't have enough timber. That's fine. Oh, no. Why doesn't it like that? It's weirdly shaped. Hmm. Let's put one maybe this way. It's not long enough. Wait, can I put it... Oh, I can put it across region? Huh? Who owns it then? Kinda weird. Weird. Can I try and get like... I'll get the mega plot on both. What do I do like here? Oh, that sort of works. Headset died again, sorry about that. Even when it's plugged in, I don't know why. Maybe I have to do it this way. No. Oh. oh I could do it this time. Wouldn't let me before. <laughs> Fine. I could have weird gardens. I feel like I've screwed over this household and given it to this guy. <laughs> okay. Fine. Um, let's expand their housing and then we'll upgrade them after. Need to keep buying oxen. And then we'll put some densely populated plots in somewhere else. Let's start getting the trading sorted. So, trade house here. Expand, expand. So they're going to be my upgrade ones. Oh, it's getting confused which region I'm looking at. Uh, so we need money coming in. I need to send them something back. Oh, oh we got loads of extra families. Not paying attention. Who's geometry class? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I need... Hmm, what resource do we send back? Could do timber again. Just more meat, I guess. Got meat supplies all sorted, really. Uh, okay, I just go straight into farming and try and send barley to start with. It's just that no resources being brought up over here. Maybe I do send planks. If I turn planks off in here, we'll give it a storehouse. It's not a storehouse. It will store only planks, and we'll maybe put a bow makers over here so we're buying less weapons. Not that we really need it at this point, because we're basically doing everything. God, 
250 small shields here. Like this one could be a bow makers, I suppose. Getting barley sort of sorted. There's no spare alcohol, that's the real problem here. Yeah, it just doesn't have any valuables I can send back yet in this region. Four, five. Traders is there. Let's assign one so I don't have to worry about it later. Can sell tools. That'll just get us some money early. Export all because we don't use tools, and we'll ship tools into here because we have tons in here. Where are they? Tools? Not oh, only eight. Hmm. Don't have enough tavern supply to increase. Oh, that's not tools. Which was tools? This one. Wait, are we not making tools? Could have sworn we were. It's cobblers. That makes sidearms. That makes shields. I swear we had a tool maker. I need a different icon to identify which what buildings are what. Those are farms. Are there any? Level 2 houses. This one. It's a chicken farm. That's an unassigned one. That's a malt house. I swear I had a tool maker. Cobblers. Well, I guess I make this the tool makers because half my trade is based on tool making. Whoops. Use all our own slabs up. <laughs> Come on, build, build, build. It should default to tool making, I think. level as well. Right, trade families. You're going to trade with... what region is this? It's Sway something. Trade with Sway something. Send... tools? Send tools, receive planks. No, that's firewood. I want planks. Planks. Then we'll make a bowery somewhere. Build a house. I don't actually put it in here, it's fine. It's gonna make the manor nice and fancy, but I can't be bothered. Just something to use up the wood over there. We should start getting some money come in from the trade route. And let's start looking at farming. So, where is fields? We want barley. Why is that one spot really bad? Let's go from somewhere like. It's four Morgans, that's two Morgans. Two Morgans? Go for two. Farm. Six, two point three, that's fine. Three, two point six, two point three, okay. Two point three, okay. Start cutting it a bit shorter. Two point 
five short. Two. Oops. Five. Where is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more. Too big. No, too small. Two point two. That's fine. That's eight fields. We got room for more. Gonna crop rotation them. Just barley. We're not gonna bother with bread. So crop rotation. Barley. Barley. Crop rotation. Barley. Barley. Crop rotation. Barley. Oh, wrong one. That's fallow. Barley. Barley. Crop rotation. Barley. Barley? Is that right? Yep. Crop rotation. Barley. Barley. Crop rotation. Barley. Crop rotation. Barley. Barley. Yep, that's going next. I'm just building up the field so I know where to put the farmhouse. But let's put a road in, just following the fields all the way down. I think I'm going to need two farmhouses for this one. Oops. Connect the roads up. Farmhouse. I'm going to put one for every four fields. Oh, what the hell happened with the road there? Fuck. Oh, the weird side road connected weird. Okay. Farmhouse. One. To the... We're gonna do sheep, so... Because I want to put the sheep on the fields for fertilization. So that can go there. We're gonna need a workshop for the weavery. Let's put a road this so I can connect some houses on the back because I'm going to need a lot of population to handle this industry. Probably want a livestock trader at some point so let's just put that in and then a row of chicken hut houses, KFC houses. Spin that road a bit more. Need a lot more plant and timber, but I can let it go for a bit. We don't need to start farming just yet. But I think I will have to take sh mm, heavy plow first. Um. Oh, it's got twice the efficiency of the communal oven. Didn't realise the bakery was that much better. Maybe we do bakeries, then we'll put some artisan bakers. Oh no, we're not doing bread, so it doesn't matter. We're just doing barley here. I mean, I could put bread in. Might make some fields here for bread. We'll see. We'll see how big this village gets. I don't think I'm going to get it beyond three, three points. Like this village, so the same size as this. This village doesn't need anything, it supports itself, it plays taxes. I do need to put the manor house in, I forgot about that. What was that sound? Enemy unit sighted. Oh, that's rude of them. Barley bread. Can you make barley bread in this game? I don't think you can. You can make rye bread. But I don't see why you'd ever take rye bread. Let's just send the peasants, I don't need to send the whole army. The nobles are above the need of fighting barbarians. So timber, five. Wait, that should only have timber, nothing else. 
I like rye bread as well. Um, but I mean, in this game, mechanically, it just doesn't really make sense. They are coming for my village, my new village, those bastards. Yeah, that's right, you change your mind and come this way. Can we fight them in the field? Is that a thing? Archers spread out. Here they come. get a kill before they go into the fight? Go on archers. Come on, you can kill one. Archers are so shit in this, they need, they need a buff. They really need a buff, I think. This Bob Aaron's over there, that's not good. Sweep around the side, help out. Where is the other Bob Aaron? In the woods somewhere, there they are, okay. Have these guys engage them. You lock into battle. What's these guys doing? What's happening here? Oh, those are the ones fleeing. <laughs> okay. Everyone, last group. Why are they doing that? Attack. There we go. All done. Easy. Easy. Expand everyone. Did I put the mana down? I don't think I did. Let's put mana down right here. Don't have the lumber for that. Let's make a little area for the manor house itself. And this is all going to be housing. It's just to get another retinue because I can. <laughs> hey, a new family moved in. We need to upgrade this. That's not even been built yet. Goose needs to come around. I've got some mods he needs. He's been sick for the last couple of days. I uh, haven't seen him online. Hopefully he pops on soon. Better TTV needs some help. Does it? What's, what's wrong with it? Having issues. Can't even ez clap. <laughs> Wait, is that the one I set the mod, the emotes for? If you send me the link to it, I'll uh, add it to my mods. Or is that Frankerface? I don't really use Twitch emotes. <laughs> oh, I don't have a family spare, that's why they're not building that. Pop this family out just to build. No? Apparently I need more families here, I didn't realise. Put road in like that. Shove in a few more houses. Just because I can, really. Perfect. <laughs> Ez clap, okay. Wait, wait. Uh, To, it's a plugin. Yeah, I've got the plugins, but I just haven't gone around and set up the emotes. Like, the only one I've set up is. Um, I, I think it's these ones. Like, that one's the only one I've really set up, plus a few others. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's all the ones I've set up. I haven't gone through and added more. I just need to sit down and do it at some point. I'm just lazy. <laughs> That's the livestock trader. How much wood are we sitting on? Ten. 
uh, forest is slowly disappearing. Hopefully the foresters will actually get to it and rebuild that forest. Or it's going to be a cold winter. Although I don't think my... Um... Actually it might have, I'm not sure. I don't know if the emote wall can see the custom emotes from like... I think this is Francophose. Not sure. Or 17, I don't know. I, I never really understood all the different mod plugins. <laughs> Can you build my mana, please? I want more troops. And then we'll. Oh, we're at 3.6k already. Let's start rallying the troops and we'll go and claim another region. No running. You guys set up over here. No running in the halls. I was a mod for a popular streamer, it's easy to do. I mean, you're welcome to. I, I just haven't been bothered to sit down and do it. There's so many things I need to do, like, I need to switch to OBS, I need to fix the, um... When I get a GIF sub, it, uh, plays at the same time as the regular subscription. So it's kinda... kinda messed up. <laughs> um, which I need to fix. I think the Hype Train one also plays, plays over the regular sub messages. I need to move them off Twitch's own and onto Streamlabs, which is what I'm using. Yeah, that's just a few different plugins that I haven't been bothered to set up. I tend to stick to the ones that the Streamlabs can auto detect, because like my Streamlabs doesn't detect. I think it's Frankerface ones. Uh, that's why I wanted a mod check. I mean, if you want to set it up, you can. I, I... Here. Uh, I trust you. You seem like a nice guy. How do I mod you? That was ban. I don't want to press that. Congrats. Go wild. Just don't change my stream names. <laughs> or delete any of my old stuff. I trust you. Yeah, just don't do anything that will get me burned. Oh, I haven't moved my armies, whoops. So let's have the army rally to like here. If they can get this mana house done, I can get the extra troops. Just need the oxen to deliver. A tiny bit of money coming in. Oh, not yet. Soon. Wanna take that last log over there or not? Cause we have like, how many animals do we have? Three, four. <laughs> Trust you. Mm. Could be a mistake. <laughs> we'll see. Logging camp. Sign one to the. There should be two more freed up, and they shouldn't be doing anything. Oh, because there's no road here, so they have to go the long way around. Yeah, well, right. Nice. Hopefully, forest road when the forest regrows. There we go. Is that the last log needed for this? Nope, they're going somewhere else. Nope, that one's not going here either. Come on, oxen. Threshing priority. Oh, I didn't even know this was a thing. Total field workers. Total farming workforce in region. Hired versus needed. 
Huh. Okay. I didn't even know that was a menu though. Uh, we've got seven idle families, why are they not building that manor house? That one needs upgrading. That one needs upgrading as well. Oh, so they'll take the logs over here, but they won't take them up to the manor. They just don't want to build me a house. Bastards. the road there, what the fuck? <laughs> that, mm, no, whatever, we'll live with that. I don't think I'm going to be able to replace the road though. Okay, so this storage is full, so they can't bring anything else in. Whoops. Are they selling shoes here yet? They are. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's a lot of shoes. Um... What else are we oversupplied in? Firewood. Charcoal. There's a thousand charcoal here! What the fuck? I could probably turn off the firewood makers here. Why not? Save on the resources. Was I shipping planks in? I was, for tools. Do we even have tools? It's supposed to be making tools. Oh, but we don't have spare families here. I forgot about that. Uh, let's take them off here. There we go. One family free. They'll get the extra houses in and they'll sort out the family issues in the mainland. Oh yeah, the army's all readied up. Let's uh, go back to war. Claim of influence, yes. Then there's just one region left. Where's the battlefield? Right here, perfect. Where are they coming from? Up there. Kadoki. No, I will not take that. Does this region build my manor house yet? No. Don't know what this region's doing. I'm not even doing these houses very quickly. Okay, one's done. Okay, so... Rationews, mount up here. Archers over here, everyone else. Where's the brigands? Going right this time, of course. I always put in the wrong spot. Okay, boys, get ready for war. Knock arrows! Loose! Let's muck in. Archers move up. Oh shit. Break out. Fight them. There we go. You'll help those guys. They're getting a bit surrounded there. Barbarians going down. Need to break a few groups, they're broken. Come on and help the fight. Rationy is broken. Can you come in and fight from the side? Why are they fleeing? Corpses. 
Now the wild goose chase begins. <laughs> Go on, get him. There we go. Another region is ours. Victory! Let's have them over and return. Now we're just waiting for like one more month to get the tithe to come in. Okay, never mind. I need editor permissions. Maybe at some point, other time. Maybe some other time, like a plate up play. Yeah, I can have a look at it. Uh, I'll, I'll sit down after the stream and have a look if I give you permissions. I didn't realise you need editor as well. I don't mind, again. Um, you seem pretty chill. You keep coming back, so it's fine. <laughs> Maybe I'm too trusting. Saw pistol, good. Did they finish? I haven't done that one. I don't understand why it's so slow to move logs. Okay, that one's done. Is there any orcs going up this way? They're going up this way, they're just not picking up for this place. Weird. Okay, and we're at 2k again. Right, for the last battle I'm going to make sure we get the mana out over here, so if I can maybe put this to lowest, that'll reset it. Back up to highest. I see logs piling up, they're just not getting used. They're clearly getting them from somewhere. I am selling tools, right? There's 35 tools here, why aren't they being sold? Oh, is it one merchant for all three regions? Huh. That might be why we're not getting any sales over there. You're old enough to be Veristal's dad, so I'm not prone to Odyssey. Really? Wow. Do I just attract old people to my streams? This is what's happening? <laughs> I don't mind. It's better than uh, hooligan teens, in my opinion. Uh, settings. Oh. Wait, there's a settings button in here? Huh. I didn't know there was. There's that settings and there's this settings. That's weird. Uh, what was I doing? I forgot what I was doing. Oh, I was gonna steal money from the Baron. Oh, he's got money again. Don't know where it's coming from. Oh, look at us, 5.2k. Feels nice. Gonna need to... Maybe I demolish this and rebuild it. I think it might be glitched. Can I get the garrison tower at the same time? I can! Keep a little road behind. There we go. Hopefully, they'll build it this time. Highest priority. Okay, hey, storehouse finished. Okay, builders, get to it. They're going. They loaded that up with a quickness from that other pile. I just need the oxen. There they come. Yep, keep moving those logs. Okay, we're already more logs than we were last time, so hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll finish the manor house. You 
earned an Atari 2600 from the box. That's pretty cool. I didn't... I, yeah, I was a little bit too old for that. <laughs> oh, I was born too late for that. I played one. Ah, shit, they're attacking me again. For Waldebrand? The Central Territory? Okay. Um, my earliest console was a PlayStation 1. Which, uh, probably a little bit later. <laughs> I played the Atari 2600 a couple of times. One of my friends had one. Well, I guess my friend's dad's. <laughs> It was fun. I mean, I, I loved all the little consoles from back then, so... Yeah. Lots of GameCube back then. I saw the, uh... Oh god, the... What was that really shitty Nintendo VR one? Where it was like a red filter, and you had to put the mask on? It was way, way too advanced for its time. But it was just didn't, didn't take off. Oh god, I can't remember what it's called. Because one of my friend's fa fathers had that one, which was <laughs> every now and then he would whip it out and it was like, holy shit, what is this? It was really good as well, it's just, I guess it was too far ahead of its time. Oh, okay, I'm going to look at it. Uh, Nintendo VR Red Tint Classic Console Retro? I don't know. It's called the Virtual Boy. Go and have a look at the Virtual Boy. That was a real classic Nintendo one. He had it up in his attic. It was so far ahead of its time. I remember saying like, holy shit, that's amazing. What, what year was that? That came out. Virtual Boy came out in 1995. <laughs> a year after I was born. <laughs> Someone had that, it was great. Very rarely did it bring it out. Oh, I need to fight that battle. Where's the battlefield? Oh, all the way over there. But it, it gave me headaches, and it, like all, all the, the um, anything you played in it had like a red tint to it, and it just kind of ruined the games, I think. Still, very impressive for its time. One more log. Please don't fuck me on the last log again. Oh, we got money again. I can hire more orcs and speed this up. Damn, that's cool. It's like a prototype of today's deck. Yeah, it was. It was so far advanced for its time. Like, I, it, yeah, it felt shocking. Um, I don't, I don't really know why it didn't take off. I mean, the red tint didn't help, and definitely screwed up any artists ever wanted to use it for something, but. It was cool. <laughs> New retinue assembled. Let's blow all our money on the retinue. So OP that each region you add a mana to, you get another retinue of 24. Okay, give them all armor. I wish there was a upgrade all button. <laughs> But I think you're meant to be a little bit more attached to your retinues. Come on, keep going. I think I just blew about two and a half grand just upgrading one retinue. <laughs> We'll defend this territory, send them all home, re recover all the men, and then take out the lost territory for the final battle with all of my troops. I don't think there's any mercenaries left in the region, no. Where is the enemy? Have we seen them yet? They're not coming out of the woods here, are they? Nope. Okay, we'll just have to wait for them to appear wherever they are. Oh, speak of the devil. They are where? 
Oh, over here. It's gonna be a forest fight, this one. Maybe I can lure them into the open over here. That might work better. They really need to give you more armies, I think. Oh, not armies, like militias. Because I think, what is it? One, one, two, three, four, five. I think you could have six if you don't build your retinue first. And then each retinue you can add. I think that should let you have more. So what happens if I build like two massive cities in my game? Each providing six retinues. Like each region should have its own limit of how many people you can bring in. That would make it a bit more viable, I think. And then you can have really cool battles with almost a thousand troops or something. I think that'd be kind of fun. Let's move forward a little bit to try and lure them. Oh, they're coming. Yep, keep pushing forward, boys. Oh. The brigands. Should I just go chase the archers immediately? Probably take them without. Start marching forward. You're on brigand patrol. Right, can you pin them down while we kill the archers? The more the better, I like to test the limits exactly here. Yeah. Should have big forces, proper armies. Charge please. Archers are going to get screwed over here. Let's have them run away, like back here. That group's done. We killed their archers so we don't have to play chasey with them all day. And performance is part of the balance. Yeah, I think so. Um, they should definitely... Uh, I feel like there's no performance issues for me, so I feel like they could definitely push it a lot harder. Come on, boys. Mark in. Charge! I do love the clash. <laughs> Come around the side, we'll hit him in the ass. Side assault. Nope, these guys are just standing back here. Charge! Surround them! Ooh, how about the shield bash there? That was cute. Yeah! Victory! Still killing people back here. <laughs> Victory. Right. Bring everyone back. We get all the armies re-armed, re-upped, reinforced, and then we're doing one big battle for the final battle of the game. I think the AI is being t tuned because I've seen some confusion from it elsewhere. I think they're doing a lot of little bits, like, the AI is kinda stupid. Um, they just sort of charge at you, they don't really take formations that much. You can see them try and send the brigands around the side to hit your archers, which is cool. Um, they need to make archers way stronger, like, the fact they can't even kill a soldier before it gets into the combat feels kind of shit. Give me your money. Two thousand dollars, what the fuck? Well, <laughs> okay, thank you Baron. The AI kind of cheats as well, like, they don't even build cities, they've got an off-map region, I guess, and they just bring it in means they constantly buy mercenaries and stuff, which is fine, but I'd like to see them actually build a town that you can take over. Um, how's this region doing? We were working on more housing next, so... Do that. We have a little bit of money. Do we start upgrading? Let's start upgrading. Farms in. Let's see what the 
Shumbo farm looks like. Massive field. <laughs> There's a lot of our money, but that's fine. I'm going to leave the retinues out actually, because they don't need recovery. Let's summon this retinue up. No running. Okay. This army is disbanding, this one needs disbanding, that one needs disbanding. Then we rally them immediately again. No running. No running. And they reform with their full groups. And we get ready to start another fight. Big army, let's go! I think just the fact that to, to get a bigger army I need to cheese it like this, where you put a manor house after. Kind of sucks. And like, it clearly can cope with it, like, I'm having no issues. And you can hire mercenaries after you've built your army, so you can actually go beyond this level as well, so... We're in some great times with Unreal and new engines that seem very robust and flexible. Yeah, I mean, Unreal's been going for years, they've managed to do so many different type of games with with them. Oh, you can rebuild the ruined buildings. Interesting. That was, a, I think, a question you had. Granary remains. What was the way I press it? Oh, just instant repairs it. Oh no, it's got to actually be built. Cool. Oh yeah, we're not taxing over here. We don't really need to. Let's uh, get another housing district in. Needs more planks, that's fine. Okay, final claim of the game. Let's do it. I'm going to save the game, because I'm hoping there's going to be a bigger battle, but I doubt it. It's just probably going to be the same every time. Claim of influence, yes. Let's go, boys. Will they fight it? Oh, battlefields in the same. Oh, they do get more troops. Ooh, I like that. How many troops is that? That's one, two sets of archers, four ret four infantry, a bigger retinue, I think. And they're all in heavy armor. Okay. Alright, we're gonna have to maybe plan a bit more strategic this time. I think if we come this side... Thank god I got the retinues! Like, how would you fight that with just the standard army? We'll try and lure them this way. Battle's triggered, so I can just fight them anywhere now. Let's pull back. Pull back here and wait for them to come over, which they are. They're splitting their forces a little bit, which is perfect. Okay, get into positions. Archers at the back. I want two lines. Let's keep one of the retinues, my main one over here, and these guys are going to deal with the flanks. Here come the archers. I could just rush in and kill the archers real quick. Let's wait for them to get a bit closer. I think I should charge, charge. They're not fleeing. Get them. Yeah, got them. Break their archers before the troops reinforcements come. The heavy armor is going to have to hold the line, but we've broken their archers, which is... There, they're gone. Easy. They're idiots. See, the AI is not that smart. They should have had the archers way, way back. 
We lost two men there. What? How do they die to archers? What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, our archers are flying. Rashnews are gonna crush the shit out of these guys. Go on. Get into there. They're gonna have a bad day. Sword and boards versus heavy armor dudes. You guys crush the flank. Push up. Can break the flanks quickly, we can sweep back in on the sides and clear these groups. I've not fought spearmen before. Don't know if they're any they're pretty chill. I like this eagle helmet they've got. I need this retinue to break them it's quick. Can I have you firing over here? They're breaking. We're killing them hard. Wow, whole regiment, not a single loss on that side. Very nice. And then they can crush in. Right. Charge. Muck in. Kill to a man. Right, turn around and charge. Come on guys, finish this group off. Lost a few pikemen over there. They've won yet? They're down to three men. They've got the morale. They're fighting down to a man. Which is kind of crazy. There we go. They're not breaking. Like, none of them are broken apart from the archers so far. Oh, no, I lied. Some of them are breaking. Right, you two. Come on, hit the rest of you from the back. Or not. <laughs> they saw the attack coming in and were like, nope, fuck it, we're out. These archers are good. These spearmen are in for a bad day. <laughs> to break. There we go. Victory. Eee! <laughs> I like that guy stabbing on and this murder going on. I think he's like sliding around. <laughs> Cheering and sliding. Amazing. They could work on the animation here a little bit. I think it's cute that they've got the cutscene at the end. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. It's kind of cool seeing a town like this, isn't it? <laughs> Took us. Oh, Jesus. That's a long time. Is that about seven years? How many people did we lose? We lost 460 soldiers. 387 dead villagers. Must be starvation. We killed 4,000 enemy soldiers, holy shit. We didn't lose a... Oh, I reloaded a couple, so I don't know if that one counts. <laughs> More cool data here in the future, yeah. Ah, I think that was great. We struggled, we really struggled with parts, but we made it in the end. <laughs> We walk to victory, mm-hmm. Them sliding feet. But yeah. Oh. Full map coverage feels nice. I really like the sketched map look as well. I think it's very cute. We're getting there. Like, we never got the farm set up, but I would have set these all up to barley and bulked out the houses like crazy, ship the barley into town, try and get to like 100% happiness, because I think it's just lack of entertainment that's screwing them over here because there's not enough barley coming through. Even the traders aren't even shipping in enough. I think they're shipping into surplus. 
that. I guess you need more malt houses. But yeah, very cute. Very, very cute. I think. Hmm. I don't know what we do next. Like, let's have a look on the menu. Go to main menu. So we've won that one. That was a challenging version. Uh, let's just skip this to look. What are the other achievements as well? My achievements. I'm missing reach 100% approval in a large town. Beat restoring the peace with mercenary units only. Oh, Jesus. Get to a small town settlement level without hurt hunting or gathering berries. Wow. So it's just trading? I don't think that would be too hard to do. Because you take that perk where you have the traders come in and ship stuff in. Fair enough. Cheerful Metropolis, I think you probably have to do in Rise to Prosperity. Which one was the... Restoring the Peace? Oh, this one. You gotta beat it with only mercenaries. That oh, I think you. Is there a difficulty on it? I'll probably play it on relaxing and do mercenaries only. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Maybe some more maps and procedural ones would be nice. We'll see if we keep playing this. I'm not sure. Might do more bell writer if Aristotle's up for it. I'm, I know he's up for it. We really want to play it. But, um, yeah. I think that's going to be me for the day. I will decide what I play on Friday. On Friday, because I'm, I'm terrible at planning. Um, and yeah. But, I thank you guys for watching. I've had a lot of fun playing this. It's been, uh, it's been great. We'll have to think of what to do next. That's my music starting up. I think... Maybe we switch it up for this weekend, because I know I'm busy Saturday. What day is the 4th? 4th is Saturday, so I might not be on Saturday, but maybe we'll do... We could fire up Kenshi and try that uh, Project Carthun update. Not update, mod. We'll see. I have to think about it. Sit down and decide what I want to play. Either that or Bell Wright. Or we fire up something new entirely. We'll see. But. Again, thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed this, do give us a follow. I will be streaming again on Friday. Let's see what we do. Uh, it's your mum coming. She is coming at the end of the month. <laughs> I don't know if that was a joke or you're asking genuinely, but she is coming at the end of the month. Um, I think it's on the 27th of May. Not looking forward to it. She's coming for two months, which is fun. So I'll be less active for that two months, but I'll we'll try and stream as much as I can. Hey, it's all good. Thank you again for following this all good. I appreciate it. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll see you again. But yeah, I'll be back on Friday. And yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys there. Apart from that, you can find our Discord down below. And uh, more than welcome to come chat with us. Probably going to hang out there later when the rest of them log on after I've had some food. And uh, yeah, we'll chill. But yeah, hope you all have a wonderful night. And we'll catch you all later. Bye bye. Oh, I'll go and have a look at the editor stuff you had to. Let's go and see. Uh... There you go. Should be assigned how to. Enjoy! <laughs> Don't fuck up my stream too much. <laughs>